a big Hello, long Internet. signature that says sent from my PC, which is a this processor, this much RAM hard drive, <laughs> my all my PC just specs. like a Stack Overflow very, thing. Very proud. Like, okay, I'm getting this error, and I'm using <laughs> Python 3.0, and like I'm on a Mac OS X, and I haven't updated to a Capitan yet, so like. <laughs> Get ready to get every email responded to with what have you tried so far? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I already answered this in a different thread. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Why did I respond to her like that? <laughs> she was asking me. Don't make us do your homework for you. <laughs> Why did I tell you? <laughs> Got like What's immediately snarky. <laughs> Oh, oh, something is tricky. Yeah, uh, something's bringing yes. out that thing. Something <laughs> is like making me want to mm. just talk down to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to post this, the chat link explicitly on Facebook. I'll say hi and uh, perhaps. Yeah, they could if if you get uh if we get more subscribers, then uh Squillette yeah. will uh touch gooey things and make <laughs> it be upset. <laughs> and make Squillette touch a gooey thing. <laughs> like a like a human <laughs> flesh thing. Well, let's see. Where are you? There we are. Human wastes. Awesome. Uh, Seer the Acid Queen, School at the Bone Queen, Melodica the Gore Queen, and I am Iron Man. Ah, how's everyone's week? Ah. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh no. Well, we had our younger child in the hospital for a day and a half because of a stomach. Oh, bone. no. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. So, but healthcare, woo. <laughs> right, like, right. Canada. But it was like, we, but it was, it was sort of like we hadn't, we hadn't had the conversation of, okay, if something medical, if we have a medical emergency, what do we do? How does the system work here? Uh, so instead, we were answering that question at like two in the morning <laughs> with a puking child. Oh. Uh, Oof, yeah. yeah. So we had to, yeah. Lindsay ended up having to wait for like six hours to get seen by a doctor. But then when she left, it was just like, oh, do I, what do I sign? Do you need my credit? No, just go. You're, we're done. <laughs> I'll just leave. Uh, <laughs> okay. That sounds great. Yeah. So making sure she is on the mend these days. But it's like, it's been that and a whole bunch of other just crises coming up. And so I, if I seem a little, dazed and scattered that's that's what's going yeah, on that's and once fair. again i was bolstered by the quality of of your and Lindsay's friends by the fact that as soon as i saw her post i just like immediately winced and braced and going oh god how long before somebody pants with oh, well, that's what happens when you have privatized health care you gotta wait 12 hours in the er <laughs> and i'm like oh, yeah no. but i didn't see anybody do that if they did it was it has been I, there's got to be some word in German for the delight from shocking Canadians with stories of healthcare in the United States. <laughs> like, oh, no, boy. I really have contributed to GoFundMe's for my friends who have gotten sick. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> I have permanent medical conditions from times when I was a teenager and didn't want to go to the hospital because it would cost yeah. too much. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Woo! Woohoo! Failed state, failed state, failed state. <laughs> yeah. The apocalypse is upon us. And, and then the metal begins. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when y'all, when we left, we left at the at the top of the walls of the giant city of dust. Is that right? That's um, right. Yeah. You took the bone. I'm wearing my bone copter. My bone copter. copter. <laughs> bone glider. Bone glider. That's right. Bone glider. Bone, bone glider. <laughs> <laughs> Every uh, time we say any noun, we're gonna do <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, so there's like the five thousand foot tall walls, uh, several hundred feet thick at least, and you're just looking out at this vast expanse of ruined city with that uh, bone and cathedral. ash cathedral at the center. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
what uh what else do you see in the city like each of you that like uh strikes a chord with your queen particularly oh wow oh, let me think for a second and you're where are we we're over the you're uh, on the uh, on the top of the wall uh, <laughs> of the big uh, city of dust that the in the center is the tomb of uh, Primaria, Primaria, the first queen. Thank you. Whose tomb is being defiled by the necromancer general, and you're here to stop him. Okay, I have a hit um, on something. Um, we look to to the west where the sun should be setting, and in place of the sun, we see something like a black hole that is to say an air, a sphere of darkness with light crackling around it and like nice. electricity shimmering off of it um right bringing an unnatural darkness that comes over the city and a cat and i'm sure yeah and a cat <laughs> and there are cats. one giant tail <laughs> and, <a> butt. <laughs> and there are cats <laughs> and one butt I also think that the defilers probably don't really care to give people respectful burials or anything. So, you know, mm. as they just kill things along the way, I, I pretty, I, I'm pretty sure there's no shortage of nice, fresh, meaty corpses just strewn Ew. about the landscape. Yes. Yeah, I think the, uh, the, the plains around it were, were uh, filled with just mounds of ancient corpses just left there on the battlefields, both human and demon. I kind of wonder if they've like they haven't decayed there haven't been like predators and bacteria to break it down somehow and yeah. just desiecated in place. Yeah. Oh, Squillet's worst nightmare. <laughs> the flesh is so weak. <laughs> um what would Squillet like? Uh I just love how this is more and more becoming a metal album poster. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's the idea. <laughs> Um, a t a top, um, sorry, my brain's not working yet. I hung out with people too long today. <laughs> um, uh, there is one uh, building that used to be um, a, a cathedral of sorts, and there are still uh, skulls with spikes through them and they're pristine. And it is the only thing in the city that's they're like bone white. Yeah, they're bone white. They're like, they're, uh, there's some sort of magic in them that has them untouched by the dust and mm -hmm. uh, cor corpse miasma that is happening all around. Squillette is uh, focusing on that point in order to mm. not get overwhelmed by all of the mess. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I think what, when I saw it in my brain, which I don't really do, but like the, the image that, uh, right. <laughs> that came up is the, uh, like, in a, I think it's, is it Time Bandits where they come up and they're like, there's like a, just a giant like maze in, in oh, front of them. Oh, God. It's either I, Time Bandits or, or it's, a, it's a Terry Gilliam thing, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. That's like a... yeah. So just like this big old, or maybe Labyrinth, I don't know. Um, but yeah, just like this huge, just like maze of buildings. Oh, wait, I've got an image here. Copy image address, chat. I love Time Bandits so much. Yeah, that, that's the one. <laughs> yes. I'll make it my background. <laughs> I love it. Check, check, check. Um, cool, yeah. So, and it's not like a literal maze, but it's uh, all the like buildings that were there or have grown out of it um since and uh you can tell that it has uh grown some uh because probably this city with the walls was not here before when the battle was taking place this is just a big plain where the uh, uh oh. took place um but there's a there's the, the the main uh gray ash cathedral in the middle and uh actually you uh, now, like looking at the black orb in the sky where the sun should be, uh, you see that uh, actually tendrils of dark energy are being drawn off of that uh, and sort of shooting down into the cathedral, kind of like using the, the points as almost like dark lightning, lightning rods. Mm. Um, can you imagine <laughs> that's where the um, uh, Necromancer General is uh, you know, bring, taking his power from to do whatever terrible thing he's going to do there. <laughs> Um, what he, he thought was yours again? 
The, huh? um, what was my what? What was the thing you said? I, corpses everywhere. Uh, that there are a real yeah, shortage yeah. of fresh corpses among fresh the corpse. landscape. Yeah. They're not all like um, old skeletons. Oh, yeah. meat. Ooh, yeah. meat involved. On brand. Um, and in fact, the uh, so uh, I'm assuming you're going to get closer to the inside edge of the wall so you can survey this area here. And you uh, squee uh, sees the, the cathedral that uh, she's seeing is there's several in the city. And this is one that is closer with the, the skulls on spikes and stuff. And uh, they are pristine white as if they'd just been cleansed mm -hmm. by like uh, the beetles or worms or something, uh, yes. unlike the, the gray of the other ones. And sort of st staring at this like vast uh, fucked up thing in front of you. Um, one of the things that you notice is on that cathedral's uh, points, the, the skulls there um, in particular, uh, you watch it for a minute and it starts like turning the skulls go from bright white to sort of brown red gray. no 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 no, no, and no, no. you can tell that the uh, there's you know uh, dozens uh, of skulls of various sizes on these spikes and you can tell that they are clean because something uh some something there is causing the flesh to grow back on them uh, <laughs> and as it does uh, then you see beetles pour out of the eye sockets of the skulls uh, and start to eat them clean again. And then oh, the, the cycle God. continues and the, the flesh grows again and worms come out. And you can see it's like sort of like a, this pulsing rhythm of mm. flesh and eating. Symbiosis. And, yeah. This <laughs> circle cascade. of life. It's a good um, gig for the beetles. Yeah, it's circle great. of death. death. Um, you appreciate does, a good domestic beetle. How does how does Squillet uh, handle that mentally and emotionally? Uh, <laughs> Gratitude. I've always been grateful for domestic beetles, but uh, especially grateful to them. But all, uh, just Squillet's overall philosophy about flesh is that it's so temporary and fragile that it's. Um, gross uh but uh, yeah. deeper than that uh squillette is like this is something big and powerful that could actually do that because i could because squillette is like ah oh, getting decorating ideas for home and it's like mm -hmm. oh, i would love to have some like sparkly clean skulls on spikes mm -hmm. and then it was like thinking of ways she could probably do that but mm -hmm. to do this sort of torture or whatever's happening it, it, she's other than not being interested in it is beyond her so she also notices that that means there's something powerful happening so grossed out and uh kind of amazing <laughs> as always oh. just kind of squillets two emotions yeah <laughs> uh so there you are at the uh the city walls of the city of ash um do you have a do you have a plan or are you just i would like to shocking try, try to manipulate one of the skulls eventually though but we don't have to do that immediately like, it's probably like it, it's kind of like you know it's you know down in the city um just so it's, noted i yeah, need to it, know it, where my bullets are yeah it, it's more of like a, a a camera move but then also like we recognize that squillet can definitely see it oh. your senses are above normal and time and space are weird here do we know like where we need to go exactly to find this this enemy Necromant. we need to get rid of probably the giant cathedral in the center where the all the dark energy is flowing into so that's, that's pretty um, obvious we don't yeah. need to like go it search sense. for it right? no it is definitely obvious uh, it is quite a ways away though um and a lot of fucked up shit in between you and it <laughs> hooray mm. um are we standing up on the wall of the city at this point yeah i guess um because I'm wondering if we still have if we still have the bone glider, is our mm -hmm. best strategy to try and fly over as much of the city as and the maze as we can. Yeah, um, I think I can help us with that as well. Because I can, I, I feel like if we start trying a path, we we will only keep some lift. So I feel like I could just make a line of exploding corpses that would like. A nice puff, oh, of, <laughs> nice puff of warm air from or, the corpses yeah. to keep it, us 
so we don't lose altitude as we're gliding. Yeah, nice. if you can, if you can yeah. make corpses, I can blow them up with acid, perhaps, and get some updrafts <laughs> out of that. <sighs> yes, for the greater good. Uh, all right, so we're taking off on the bone glider and heading into the city. A sweet, and pristine some, bone glider. Some meat updrafts. So clean. Yeah. Meat thermals. <laughs> nice, um, bloated, warm corpse breeze. <laughs> Yeah, actually, you notice as you uh, as you get into like the city, like a couple hundred yards gliding, it's like, oh, this is pretty sweet. You don't have to do it. It's and it's you know the walls are a mile high, so you've got a, a ways to go. Um, as you enter the city proper, uh, I think it's Squillet that notices first because it's her bone copter that flesh oh, begins her. growing back on the bones of the ah. like, bone uh, bone glider that you've made. No, ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Not necessarily oh. bat, because these are the skull bat bones, right? Um, yeah. Uh, not flat, necessarily flat. like, not that you can determine the species of meat from just <laughs> looking at the meat, uh, but it's clear that this is not the natural order that's going on because every once in a while there's like a little eyeball. Just like annihilation pops like style. And like little oh. bits start coming out. Um, and there are no. Um, you did a great job of putting together this bone glider and there are no beetles yes. or worms uh, to eat the meat away. So it is just continuing is to beetles. grow. <gasps> and uh, it's getting a little cronenberg in here. A little, My a little creation. More it's, just getting, it's just getting bigger and meatier. Yeah, <laughs> including on the inside. And it's like just pressing <laughs> pressing in on Oh, OK. All right. No, the, the, what are my weapons? I hate it. Muscles. <laughs> uh, like you're fucking with me. Definitely that sounds like a job for the effect. acid queen to me. I was about to say somebody. somebody yeah. Some, some scouring we, we do action have on this. Someone <laughs> who can do some cleaning for us. I mean, this right. is definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna try and blast it clean with acid. <laughs> nice. I forget what exactly that requires. Um, are you just doing uh, with your your uh, magic acid or uh, anything else? Magic your... acid, I think. Yeah. All right. Yeah, um, magic acid. You've got you've got two orbs of power in uh, your acid magic. So let's so see. Two d six. Two d twenties. Two d twenty. That's better. <laughs> I had to play this game. Uh, what game? Are, okay. And then <laughs> Metal if roll, queens. If I roll doubles, it can go again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, two and a here. four is a Don't six, so that's all failures, right? Yeah, even numbers are failures. That's right. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Uh, about I remembered this. a thing. <laughs> hey! so, uh, those two orbs go into your doom pool. Yeah, oh. right. They do. <laughs> there they go. Yeah, um, we're and, doomed. So, uh, but you are uh, definitely the uh, mistress no of though. acid, and uh, <laughs> do uh, in what in what way are you conjuring the it? Like, what does it look like when you conjure it? Is it like coming um, on your fingers, falling from the sky? Oh, good question. Um, I think it is a gestural thing, but it generates a like little whirlwind of acid rain mm -hmm. that sort of spits off on all the tangents, and eventually you see it forcing back all of the flesh, or burning away at the flesh, and eventually yeah. burnishing the bones back to being clean again. <laughs> yeah, and it, it definitely does that, but it uh, does yep. not stop at the flesh. Uh, it extends to the, the wings and the, the bones become brittle. And uh, as much as uh, Squillet tries to hold it together, uh, it just breaks apart. And once, once again, you are plummeting <laughs> thousands of feet uh, now into the city of Ash. Um, this so is reminding got, me of one of my yeah. favorite interactions <laughs> in a text adventure where the room description is, you are plummeting down towards Earth, the wind whipping past you in all directions. <laughs> North? Now it seems more likely. <laughs> Sorry, as you were. <laughs> um, no, I was making the improv falling, so I was not doing uh, any better. Uh, <laughs> um, you're falling. What would you like um, uh, to do? I, I'm Down going to try to uh, <laughs> to summon a pillar of corpses to meet us so that we can hopefully Ooh. grab Girl, on. This is and... the worst day ever. <laughs> I would love to see that. Um, you have lucky I like you both. One orb of power in your magic, if that's what you want to do. Ooh, if I must be saved, I will. Yeah, I've only got a, a one, so that's all I can do, right? Just a, a D. 1d20 one, one 20 yeah 
I guess that four and the two make up for all the sevens from last time. Big bucks, no whammies. Uh, hey, a nine is a nine. nine whammy. All right, so. that is a that is a success. Um, oh, so yeah. you do so. Uh, one one orb of power success is a uh, moderate success, but a success nonetheless. <laughs> what a normal um, cost! At, at the cost of uh, instead, so like <laughs> you're, you try to like uh, pull all these corpses together, and like for, we see from the uh, on the ground this sort of like pillar forming. Uh, but the corpses are the corpses are uh, you know not really um, coherent, and they sort of it's more of a fountain of corpses than a pillar. <laughs> um as like gristle and ash and bone no. and brains and stuff uh and so it like, so like reach, spurts up and reaches up to a lot and as you fall it kind of like falls back down so so it's more like a it's more like a um like a crash cushion of meat <laughs> than a gentle <laughs> flesh elevator but you do like all like sploosh and gore gets on the camera lens and nice. you know, <laughs> it's, it's that kind of thing. Uh, it's but you do, exposure therapy for Swee. Yeah, oh, you do God. land safely, uh, but it is super <laughs> gross. <laughs> On physically safe. <laughs> Emotionally and spiritually. Emotionally, not okay. <laughs> Dead to the rescue. Um, <laughs> uh, and so you are surrounded by uh, recently animated, like not even corpses, just like flesh goo slurry. I think Melodica couldn't be sometimes. Melodica couldn't be happier. It's just like this is great. <laughs> so Melodica's like in a kiddie pool. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Some of these don't even have bones. <laughs> um, cool. So you are. Uh, th there are you know sort of nondescript, ashy-looking uh, buildings uh, that go. It's like you know downtown in a major city kind of uh, corridors of this. Uh, sort of bony i'm afraid stone. to and you can get my palanquin you, back because i'll get you can still see uh where the you know you still know oh, what direction to head where the oh, good. tendrils of darkness are coming um so now got queens it. in the city opening montage yeah queens <laughs> in the city hot queens in the city. Are flowing <laughs> we didn't have capes before i don't know why we have <laughs> now, but now we do now we have capes <laughs> And you realize um, it's just fresh corpses clinging to your back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to make my palanquin, but I'm afraid it'll get skin. <laughs> palanquin. You mean palanquin. you hope it'll get skin? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, oh. Cool. Where, where would you like to go from here? Um, hmm. When do I have to resume my doom stuff? Resume um, the doom. So the the doom is that you have uh, expended uh, all of this magic of yours and oh, okay. you need to okay. do something to get yeah. it back. One way. Thank you. Um, it's it's no longer an immediate threat because you're not in the air anymore. Yeah. Um, but yeah, cool. it'll definitely come up at some point. Are the are is it only the cathedral that's made of bones? Uh, so all of the yeah. So the, the city uh, is made of like this like ashy bony stone material mostly um oh. it's uh <clears throat> not exactly ruins yeah. uh, because they're all mostly standing um but it's just these uh, immense towers of this like dusty granite uh, embellished with bones kind of i think Sir at the, sorry at this point asks squee if she has any control over this substance does it does it move to her command uh the bone the granite or the yeah the bone building bone yeah so we, so yeah. We can definitely like you definitely feel like there is something there but it's not so i'm pure. an earth bender now uh i mean bone bender yeah <laughs> uh, bones, it's definitely not calcium pure, so like technically earth bender Ooh, get a blood bender and a bone bender together <laughs> bad news or great news <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, that's what melodica, I think, is. Yeah. Yeah. We can make um, a person. Cool. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I. What What do we want to do with the um, with our bo bones if I control them? We're trying to get there. I don't know. Um, Good question. What are we trying to do? 
I know. Get to that <laughs> necromancer and kill it. Yeah, keep it from defiling the tomb. Like, I wonder if the necromancer is too powerful to be killed. And so we have to banish him to another dimension or something. <laughs> Oh, make it someone else's problem. Yeah, basically. <laughs> this continues the cycle of violence. It doesn't really solve the root cause of the problem. Okay, this is this is fair. <laughs> just send them to the It's a structural issue. We need to get to the root. We can't just be cleaning up. Symptoms. We so we just send everybody to battle that Titan in the other dimension. Remember? Oh yeah, we're gonna just keep sending everyone to the Titan, and you'd be like, "I wish you would stop doing this. I've been sleeping. I'm, I'm so tired. I really want to take a nap." <laughs> I that last guy was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> we talk real big to everybody and be like, oh yeah, well, we're gonna bash you and you have to go fight the Titan. He's like, ah, oh, goddamn. <laughs> the Titan is settling down to finally watch the last season of Justified. <laughs> <laughs> In a cozy oh, chair. Finally, got my popcorn. <laughs> Can you guys just fight anybody ever? Like <laughs> one person, maybe? Gets a notification. <laughs> this is a a mouse that Squee didn't want to deal with. <laughs> Banish you. Hey, what, are, what are all these fleas doing here? Um, <laughs> uh, Melodica, you, uh, as you're kind of like uh, surveying, uh, you swear you see uh, a pair of green eyes sort of <laughs> blink and then disappear uh, around the corner of uh, one of the little alleys nearby. For being watched. Well, I mean, and, unsurprisingly, and, really. As as you say that, uh, all of you sort of can like around you, like say we're being watched, and there's like a couple dozen places of varying heights <laughs> where like uh, little green eyes are like open and close and blink, and then uh, from where like it looked like it was just like the side of a building, uh, kind of like a baby sized uh, gargoyle looking thing like that was melding in perfectly with the bones or like skitters and like into like a window and there's a, a dozen of them just that like, were like sitting there watching you and then when you're like we're being watched they're like oh no <laughs> they, they saw us. babies maybe Aww, they're friends gargoyle babies. rock babies yeah. well, make your rock dreams come true maybe they can carry us to this here <laughs> yeah can i uh are they made of rocks um, it's hard to tell. They see. they were blending in with the with the buildings, so they we, either. I want to try to be their friends. <laughs> okay. So friends far, we've been oil. choosing violence, and I'm wondering about friendship. <laughs> friendship, <laughs> friendship. Uh, especially since Squee is feeling a little out of her element here, I was like, mm. I don't know. So I guess I have some of the bone uh, copter with meat still on it and I'm like yeah there's a big puddle of goo here um it works yeah, on I, rats in the tombs I love it um what are you like approaching the wall or just kind of like doing it from a distance or what, what's your approach here I'm like kind of like soft-footed approaching like trying not to make a noise and like uh, getting close and like trying not to startle them, but trying to offer them some of the uh, bone copter drumstick. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you, you see a like you have to be, get pretty close, but a little uh, little head pops out of uh, one of the like uh, windows. I guess they're all broken in, um, so like pops up and Scotta. It is definitely like looks like stone, looks like the same ashy stony bone as the rest of the stuff. Uh, it's got like a little snout, almost like not exactly a bat, but kind of like a bat with floppy little ears Baby. and little teeth there. Um, and uh, it does have like little, what look like vestigial wings on the back, like a little cherub almost. Um, and you can see it like sort of sniff, 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 sniff. And if you get close enough, it sort of like hops up on the windowsill and sort of like lurches forward and snatches it out of your hand. Um, and it like chews it, and as it does, uh, it, the stony flesh sort of like ripples uh, red and white to match the color Ugh. of what it just ate, and so now it's just like mm -hmm. this uh, 
exposed muscle looking baby. Oh, cool. Um, and uh, it's like, Melodica, this is your, your baby. <laughs> <towards> you. <laughs> um, and when it does that, uh, you notice like right by you, like right next to you, were like another half dozen. They sort of like pop out of the wall and they start making like chittering noises, like, <laughs> and they're like greedily approaching you. Oh, yeah. Ex okay. We got more. We got more. more. Yeah. I mean, we're done with this bone copter. So. <laughs> So meat's on the menu. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, there's no yeah. shortage of meat around. And it'll probably grow back even. <laughs> yeah, probably just eat it and then give them it back again. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess in, in Squidlet's mind, these are like some of the things in this dust city still may be part, like still might be nice to us because they might be part of Primor Primoria's actual entourage. Oh yeah, just taking a chance on these little guys, or maybe they're just like rats. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Whatever, so I you, want to be their queen. Are you gonna continue feeding them? Yes. I suspect uh, no danger. What What does that look like when you like? Are you just like shoveling handfuls of stuff, or are you trying to get them to come down? Yeah, I think I've set up like a little trail of uh, little uh, bone copter drumsticks and trying to get them to come closer and closer. Mm -hmm. I think um, we, should, we should try and lead them to basically be our party now, like like the Pied Piper. <laughs> Bring we the we'll just go from like corpse to corpse to corpse to corpse. <laughs> towards oh, our yeah. destination. I'm trying to like get them. Yeah, I'm trying to get them to follow us. So we're, as we're walking, I'm being grossed <laughs> out because I'm having to carry all these drumsticks now. <laughs> but I'm, I'm determined to make friends with these things because I have no other thing I feel like I can contribute here. Um, uh, are you still by the, the big uh, gross pile of copter slurry stuff? Uh, I think as you're as you're like putting them down, they start to become bolder and um, there are a lot more than you thought there were originally. Um, dozens and dozens. They sort of like pop out of the walls and a couple <laughs> Good, of them. At least like, we know they're where they are a, now. A rock and like they're and so it's like this weird scene of like you putting these down sort of like coming back to pile and the this growing wave of little rock, <laughs> just, rock and chairs. then the like camera zooms up and it's like the zombie horde <laughs> following us. Yeah. Uh, it's almost like a it's almost like you know, you know like dropping a match on a line of gasoline. Um once oh, once they get they're like oh these uh these are not threats and uh here's a direct line to this giant pile of goo uh and just swarms of them are popping out and just like diving into the pile of goo and like doing like little backflips into it and just devouring it and Aww. there's like a like a like I a think bunch this of is ants, friendship a bunch of ants on an ice cream cone and they just like are going to town on this giant i pile like these little guys they're so and happy <laughs> uh, and the pile gets smaller and smaller little cherubs and smaller and smaller until it's like just a giant pile of little meat cherubs and they <laughs> take they devour that giant little pile fat of meat bellies rather quickly uh and like the last like couple dozen are like licking the ground and trying to get yeah. up uh, and then they're like <laughs> bad babies they, they smell you and start yeah. like stalking towards you oh uh, well <laughs> Bad what would memory. You like to do? Uh, I think we should well, just... like... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I, I was gonna say we should just try. I mean, it probably won't work because we probably won't have enough to satiate them. But just keep leading them. Paths of friendship. corpses all the way. Just keep <laughs> like trying to stay ahead. Yeah, we and... can make this work. Like, can we? Uh, so, like, do we have to like roll for anything power related or sort of like simple? Like, if I just want to like keep making like you know corpses just sort of pop open is that a thing that i can just yeah, do with my, you know, my powers I, I think you can, you can make the corpses pop without rolling uh i think if your intention is to keep them satiated uh that might be a roll i mean yeah i just figure you know like a popped corpse might attract them more because it's like gooier and fleshier and smellier than just like yeah hey corpse over there you know yeah, I think that will nice. slow them down, but they will like continue to like be on like little city dogs. Like, can I make them little bone muzzles? 
you can try. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm still thinking of the Pied Piper approach of like trying to lead as many of these things with us. Mm. I mean, I, I like that too, because then they would eat other fleshy things around us. And maybe yeah. the necromancer. <laughs> yeah. I, I was thinking like bone muzzles, keep them hungry. <laughs> Have them with us. <laughs> Pop the bone muzzles off when we meet the necromancer. And then one problem <laughs> solves another problem. <laughs> Easy. Two problems um, bash them into each other. It's a good yeah, idea because then they saying... can't attack us, but you like there's still enough space in the bone muzzle. You could still like feed them. They can yeah, get, you can still yeah. give them little if, bits. Little or if they like post, hey. poke their muzzles into a juicy corpse, they could still probably get nice mouth. And then we could do stuff. more training too. We could be like, nope, bone clicker. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got little, little bone oh, test nets we use. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say that's a that's going to be a power roll for you to actually make them do that instead of oh, yeah. not, not eat you. Um, I was so gonna... I'm not thinking you would let me get away with that. <laughs> oh, no, this, this is a so this is a bone roll for a melodica or power roll for a melodica it sounds like because you're making the corpses pop oh it's true I, well i thought yeah okay i, I didn't know if you're rolling for that or the bone muzzles i'm or happy both. to do either plan yeah no i mean i like or i think both. i think it's both i definitely think bone muzzles are also a good idea uh so i guess first we'll see if i can distract them with my we refuse trail of exploding corpses <laughs> uh which is still just a d20 correct because that's my power Big bucks, no whammies. Five is no Boom. whammies. Yeah, um, they are. So they're they're definitely like encircled you. Um, but every time they get a little bit too close, you pop another corpse, and they jump on that and <laughs> eat it and sniff around, and then sort of come back. And you're able to sort of keep them keep them at bay. Uh, they're not like entirely under your control, but they are. Right, right, right. They're not interested in but eating you right we're, now. They're following us. We're making a progress in the journey with them behind us and coming yeah. with us yeah we're doing fine yeah perfect this is a flawless plan nothing can go flawless wrong. nothing yeah. will go there's there's like, right. no notes. you you haven't count you haven't no made a, a census but there are a couple hundred of them little perfect big army for us love it yeah, yeah and, and, we're gonna be and they're fine. all the the flesh and like the more they eat like the grosser they get Oh, oh my God, my babies. I wonder if we oh, can make them okay. so gooey that they can't move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a good I like plan the as well. A stone. All right, well, let's get the bone muzzles on them before anything goes wrong. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, th I think I've, well, once you have them under control, you get the bone muzzles as a give. You have a little, I have a, it, it takes a while, but. But they are adorable. <laughs> but they are Very adorable. <laughs> I feel bad putting a muzzle on an animal, but. Do what you got to do. They would eat us otherwise. So when the time comes, you can just pop them all off with one sweep of your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Easy peasy stuff. And then I'm sure they will only attack our enemies. <laughs> sure. Nothing bad can happen here. Nothing bad will happen. <laughs> this is flawless so far. Really Mark, give us something hard. <laughs> <laughs> this is baby uh, stuff. This, uh... <laughs> Says the um, woman who doesn't have two dice in the death pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I should start putting myself at risk since everyone else is kind of. Not having... um, spe speaking of, uh, yeah, you uh, as you uh, go towards the the center of the city, um, you kind of like gone down this long <laughs> avenue and make a turn, uh, and uh, this is something that you didn't necessarily notice uh, from your vantage point above but there's a uh, a river a uh, couple hundred feet across of that like green toxic acidic sludge that you see in the deathlands so much oh uh, yeah just flowing like just across the city from uh, as far like, as you can see everybody gets their their thing here regrettably <laughs> i have no power left so. oh no <laughs> So if I can fight the river or speed the river, I can maybe. <laughs> okay, Achilles. Um... <laughs> fight the river. Well, well, you know. a dick. <laughs> maybe maybe Squillet can make a bone bridge. Bone bridge. I know, yeah. Oh bridge yeah, I can make a bone bone bridge. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I mean, I would bridge. make a corpse bridge, but I know Squillet's getting a little tired of corpse everything. Had, it's not a good day so far. <laughs> but I just have this one thing. A beautiful, pristine bone bridge. That will probably grow meat, because everything here seems yeah, to Yeah, it will. But I'm going to yeah. run, if, if I could fine. also run across first, that would be great. <laughs> you, you run yeah. across while it's still pristine bone. 
I'll wait for it to get um, meaty. And... Yeah, <laughs> oh, let it get grosser. <laughs> and then once uh, all the all the gargoyles come, they have a meal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect. They can <laughs> eat the bridge <laughs> behind us. Uh, before you get too close That's to the river, uh, you hear like oh. a, a like a a pulsy rumble kind of coming from your right, um, and you're still like a safe distance from the river, um, but you as far down as you can look you sort of see the river kind of like receding a little bit uh and then you're like this big wave like kind of like a wave pool like floods across the river uh <laughs> or floods along the river kind of like swooshing it up uh on like a block's worth of shore uh before it kind of like recedes again mm. uh and you can kind of tell like there's kind of like a eaten away water line so it seems like a regular thing a bone raft. Oh, we got a have bone to... gondola. Get... A gondola. A bone. <laughs> bone boat. Uh, We're gonna go bone surfing. Bone surfing. <laughs> Should we? It's a jet ski. Yes, it's a jet ski. <laughs> oh yeah, we had a bone motor or had motorcycles earlier, so. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not out of the question. Still need to make a new corpse cycle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You missed your baby. Uh, on a trebuchet, just come on, try <laughs> Oh, there's a winner. <laughs> oh, sorry. Love it. <laughs> Love it. All right, bone trebuchet. <laughs> can, only if you we can also have, like... give us, we each need a set of like wings, though, if we're going to be trebuchets, so we can glide down. Glide down to safety. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, bone so parachute. That might be a gore thing. <laughs> These are all great plans. Give I love every one of them. I like that we just have a long engineering and conversations. <laughs> okay, if the so parabola is like this, right, then... right. Wind speed is not really that much of an issue in the <laughs> okay. city of the dead. <laughs> yeah, the dust is not really going to catch your impact, so we're definitely going to need a parachute. <laughs> Well, gore parachutes for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so many options. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, why don't we try the, the boat one? The boat one? OK. Uh, as, as you're kind of uh, hanging out But we on will the shore have again. a trebuchet eventually. Uh, you hear that that rumbling again as the the river like pulls down a little bit, um, and you kind of like look to the right to see the wave coming, uh, but the wave comes from the left this time. Uh, it seems a little faster, I guess, um, and like squish, sploosh again. And oh, it goes off uh, into the yeah. distance. So if that happens while we're in our little boat. Yeah, probably thing. wouldn't do well. Oh. It seems like Mark is trying to make us make a bone trebuchet. Can <laughs> Seer, the acid queen... I'm, I'm just telling you what's going on. Do can anything Seer, the, with magic right Can now, she no? neutralize the acid? I mm. couldn't if I had any power. Oh, that's true. So we still have that You'll be using right? your, uh, your doom dice for, the, for that if you want to do. Okay. Oh, I forgot about that. And in fact, I'm going to make it a little bit more uh, interesting for you. Uh -oh. um, as, as you're sort of uh, considering and gathering your power, uh, again, you see the river dip and the wave. Uh, it seems like it's coming along slower. It's like wave is like 50 feet, uh, like sort of like rumbling along. And then it stops a couple hundred feet to your left. There's and starts coming back river. your way. There's like a there's a sandworm. There's a there's an acid river worm. Probably something like that. Yeah. We'll we'll see. Um do you wanna roll your doom dice to see if you can yeah, get some acid magic at that? Let's get some what about do bone stilts. <laughs> I think my objective here is to do the Moses thing to the to the acid. Put it. Oh nice. nice, good one. Um and I will roll two dice and God help us all. I rolled an hey. eight and a 19, so one so, goes into death. Yeah. Um, and the other one, uh, yeah, so as you're, you're getting your power and the, the, the like, it's, you see it's less of a wave and more like a bulge of, uh -huh. of this acid water. Um, 
and like almost as if it was something like tunneling under a blanket or something. Oh, okay. uh, but it's but it's water, so it's weird that it's sort of sticking to it. Um, and as you kind of like do the Moses thing, uh, yeah. you do like split the water uh, there, um, and it kind of like splits and reveals underneath. Uh, oh boy, it's kind of like uh, a kitty, kind of like an armadillo. Oh, um, <laughs> new friend! Like a big armadillo with uh, like a, a head on either end, sort of like its face cut in half, uh, oh, literally like this. So you can see it's got uh, eye stalks that have like sort of the just the insides of the eyes. Yeah, they kind of like Aww. pop out and flop around, mm, uh, and then like, from yay. the inside yes. of the the mouth, this kind of like the uh, sucker lots tube. Aww. With lots of little teeth on the end, come out and start Aww. snuff, 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 snuffing around. I just definitely like it starts like rolling back and forth, looking for. Oh the water. no! Like oh, a baby. pseudopod acid dillo. Yeah. Oh, he's probably um, out of game question. Uh, one of my dice went to death. Right. What What yeah. happens to my other doom die? Uh, put it wherever you like. Okay, I'll put it back in power. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. So it's lost now, and it doesn't have its acid. Yeah, it doesn't oh, have a bath or whatever, thing. and it's uh, kind of like ro- it kind of like ro- it doesn't have feet. It kind of like rolls around a little bit. Yeah. Um, and when it gets Can closer to the it? water, the water kind of like sucks towards it, but then it like rolls away and it starts. Yeah, you know, it's kind of rolling around trying to find where it is. So it suck, 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 sucking around. Can we, can we help push it back into the acid? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Are you gonna make an attack me, and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um. I've got all these gargoyles around me right now. Ooh, yeah. That, feel, I that almost feels friendship. like it could be a speed roll, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get... Uh, that's also, like, I have these little gargoyles around me ready to... I'm uh, ready to, like, tear their little bone muzzles off if I need to, but... Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Maybe I'll poke it with some bones. <laughs> <laughs> try, to, try to show it the direction back to the acid. I don't want to get hurt. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's you know a good twenty feet tall. Does it even feel around. me? Where I'm like, tick, 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 tick. we'll find out. Oh, okay, no. I'm doing a speed roll. What do I have? Oh, one. Okay, this will be fine. Everything will be okay. Yeah, we got this. You got fifty fifty. Got this. I rolled a five. Yeah. Okay. Um, not bad. So it it does Push. heal you. Uh, and when you, all it does is like, if you are you like taking a, a couple of like femurs and like kind of push? Yeah, it? I got a couple of femurs and I'm like, hey, what? Hey, hello. Um, it, it kind of like, so it's, it, it's kind of banded like an armadillo. Uh, but when you push it, the, it's not, uh, it's not solid. It's almost like uh, jelly like. So when you touch it with the bones, it kind of like recoils inwards. Uh, and oh, roll, not an exoskeleton and like I thought. Rolls away from you. So uh, you can you can guide it towards one side of the river or the rolly other. Rolling it and every like, ah! and and it kind of like makes this like high pitched high pitched squeal. Uh, it's like it's oh, like baby. whistling whistling from both ends. Oh, it's okay, baby. Let's it's get you back home. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as it gets closer, oh, one one side of the river, if you're pushing over that way, the the water kind of like when it touches the water, it just like oozes over it and encases it again. Um, That's a good, baby. And then it away uh, to the to the right there uh, Hi, so you've got baby. your your your, your moses tunnel gonna last for a few more minutes but not much oh, yeah longer. sorry it's been a lot of time oh no no <laughs> this is I, I figure you know while while squillette was doing that maybe we were probably scurrying across the open oh yeah canal all right and now i have uh i'm doing it but i'm also doing it with bone stilts just in case <laughs> Just because you can. Because I can. Because you can. This is becoming um, more and more Terry Gilliam as time goes on. Like bone water skis. <laughs> this is you now starting to remind me of uh, the Wonder Twins in the Super Friends cartoon, where it's just yeah. like one could be an animal and one could be any form of water. So it was always just literally water, anything. Water. And the monkey yeah. had the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Form of a water cannon. Form of water stilts. Form of a water jet ski. Yeah. It's my one thing. I just 
make physical things. <laughs> so the armadillo is rolling along and you're behind it on your wand. Hi, buddy. Monkeys. Monkeys. Sweet. Sweet. Hopefully this comes in handy later and we'll have a friend. <laughs> so many friends in the land of the dead. <laughs> so many friends. Primoria would be proud. <laughs> and we have to um, treat in case any of these are her creatures. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. In her domain. In her domain. Uh, so you uh, toot along through the, the yeah, city of ash, um, city of dust. What uh, is our is our horde of uh, flip gargoyles <laughs> following us? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you a little, a couple hundred little meat babies That's flopping awesome. around. Yay, meat babies. Goes, it goes. <laughs> too bad we didn't make isopod friend. We could have had him rolling behind us too. <laughs> Just a parade. Um, <laughs> we show up with the demon. What's up? Um, and you um, come. There's a uh, there's a uh, you can oh, tell hey. us kind of like the yeah. Uh, can we break shortly so I can yeah, go let's downstairs? Break now. Um, yeah. Just because I need to get the kids are falling are going to bed, so I need to be cool. A different yeah. floor break, from them, or anyway. I will keep them awake. Sorry yes. about that. And yeah. break. No, it's break. a good break time for plus, me too. I'll say five ish, five or ten. Thank you. Cool. All right. Stay metal, fans. <laughs>
if we had a producer, they'd be playing music. <laughs> For all people. For all the no people watching? <laughs> For all four people. Hello again. Oh, does not support. I wonder if I switch to my other computer if I can get virtual backgrounds back. Hmm. Uh, maybe I'll try that. Hold on. Cool. Sorry. That's fine. I'm looking for many gargoyles anyway. <laughs> uh, that picture is too small. Tiny, have, meaty. Again, gargoyle. like I know, like the the one, the the little baby gargoyle that I have going on here? in my brain. I can't. Think of where it might be from. I want to remember them as stone. Nope, they're off. They've been meat since you've been deep feeding them. <laughs> They've been meatified. Little meaty babies. Meaty babies. There we go. I can just imagine Melodica just like, oh, sweet little snooker. There, oh, sweet I think poor there's, babies. Am I copying something from a movie? That's an uh, idea. I think I am. <laughs> Is it there? Oh, ladies. Oh, I feel like I feel like I copied something Whoa. from that. Uh, oh no. There we go. Okay. The world is right. Let's just uh, roll to see if we kill the necromancer. <laughs> <laughs> Does, can the people hear me? Yes. Uh, yes. Thank you. That's can a good. That's a good walkie check. Hey, hey, there we go. Um, cool. Uh, when we when we come back from the commercial <laughs> break here, um, what is the commercial uh, for? For I don't know. Yeah, now I want to know what our sponsors are. I, I feel like there's yeah, some Mark, late night could you for a compilation for meaty CD babies. <laughs> New meaty babies from Pepperidge Farms. <laughs> um, the, the the camera kind of uh, it's blue and pans down, and we can see that there's actually a blue sky, uh, which we are not used to seeing at all. The sky is totally blue, uh, and sort of like pan pans back and around and zooms around this uh, the city that we've been seeing. Only it's uh, not stone and uh, ash. It's like gleaming uh ivory and gold uh, and has like a big sort of flat green area in the middle where there's a palace uh and the the they do kind of like rise up as they get to the edge of the city but there's no there's no stone wall no bones uh it is teeming with uh demons however um and kind of like as zoom zoom down one of the avenues uh past you know this uh, the, the nice blue river that's in the middle there uh, that's just choked with uh, bodies um, and still like people fighting on like the, the mounds of bodies rising out of the river uh, with these demons that are swarming over uh, everyone in the city and kind of like getting to the middle of it uh, past like these uh, you know, past some like a, a, a graveyards and past some fields and uh, it gets the palace and it's just ruined and on fire uh, and there are a uh, you know a it's dozen incredible. demon queens or uh, metal queens um, in the in the center of the the pitch uh, kind of like just like for, back to back forming this circle um, and one of them we uh, see has a crown with uh, four four golden heads <laughs> facing outwards and uh, she is you know wielding like this uh, flaming like a uh, uh, incense sensor and this like double bladed sword axe thing and just like spinning around smiting demons and stuff but they're closing in uh and we can see that actually from the four uh cardinal directions there are sort of towering over the rest of the demons that are closing in are these uh large uh cloaked figures like 15 feet ish tall 
uh, like tall and thin with these golden masks. Uh, like one looks like a sun, one looks, uh, you know, has, has flames and whatnot, and they seem like they're leading the demons uh, towards the circle, kind of pressing them in um, and kind of like do the Avengers hero shot around. And there's yeah. like, like, oh, here's the, the the silver queen. Here's the flame queen. Here's For people the who have al- watched the uh, Demon queen. queen High School. Yeah. They that's, recognize that's some of their favorite characters. Um, and it sort of like pulls up and then focuses on uh, Primaria, who is the first metal queen. Uh, and she is uh, sort of circling all that. Um, and they, they realize they're going to be crushed in. And uh, she like does this swirly thing with a sensor and forms a, a portal above them. And uh, although the other metal queens uh, resist, uh, she sort of like does this and they all fly up into the portal and it shoop, falls, uh, tightens, um, and they have been sent to safety. And she's there alone as the demon hordes um, close in on her and she is able to push them back for a moment and uh, smacks her uh, her like flame thing and her sword together and slams it on the ground and this wave goes out and everything that the wave touches, uh, including her, uh, just turns to stone and all the demons, uh, like you can see them flailing out, just freeze and start to crumble. Uh, and so there's some standing there, some crumbled. Uh, and then back in the center is uh, Primaria, like a giant statue of Primaria with her, her two weapons smacked and together. The credits roll. And the credits <laughs> roll. Somebody. Um, it's, done. With, it's just with us. Three we're of we're exciting with... things we've seen along the way. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go uh, ahead. Uh, the kind of zoom just back selfies. Up to the blue sky. <laughs> Uh, and the blue sky turns to gray and we come back down and see uh, you all approaching this uh, giant iron gate uh, that kind of like encircles the middle part of the city. I just like end um, credits with a montage of what we did afterwards. <laughs> Squillette went on to open a natural history museum. I've been reading a, The Three Body Problem, which is a Chinese yeah, science yeah. fiction novel that's, that opens in I, the Cultural Revolution. And I listen I'm to like, the audiobook of they. I'm like reading along, and it's like, and they did, and this character after the story eventually got a different job doing this, and then worked here for a few day, few years, and then in the '80s moved to Canada and died in Ottawa in 1991. Yeah. Like, I did not expect this story to loop around <laughs> to my city, <laughs> but anyway, that's irrelevant. <laughs> well, what the hell have we just witnessed? <laughs> that was like, just a flashback to uh, how Primaria got there and how the, how the city turned into what it was. Oh, that right wasn't right, right now what we saw? No, that, that was a flashback to the... Uh, it needed the, a record scratch freeze frame yeah. on Primaria. I'm glad, I'm glad so I was I clear, clear, on, clear on that. I, know, I was too. I was like, well, shit, if she can't do it, we should split. <laughs> <laughs> metal queen power. Switch. Let's get you do quite some time. <laughs> she just got all the other metal queens out of here and why the fuck are we still here? <laughs> but just, it's like it's just and then it's just a mean girls uh movie for the rest of the time of like why can't we go to meta queen heaven <laughs> so we're at a gate sorry yeah it's uh, yeah, monday so these, we don't wear sweatpants on monday these uh these giant uh iron gates uh that uh you know mark off the center of the city um, and they're they're easy to get through. Uh, they just like creak open. Uh, they're like huge. Uh, but iron doors. could trebuchet over them. <laughs> could trebuchet over them if you like. Um, cool. And so in here you can see uh, the the center of the city. And again, like when you are looking at it from the um, you know from the rim of the wall, uh, space is weird and distorted in the demon lands. And so it seemed like it went on forever uh, with these you know, giant towers. Um, but now that you're approaching the center, uh, you can see that things are, uh, it's, it's a more open space, except for the, uh, you can see, you know, not too far away. Although, what does that mean? Um, <laughs> that the Ash Cathedral in the middle. With the, and the, man, that black orb in the sky is uh, way smaller than it was when you started. <laughs> Um, oh, it's being drained off. It's I being guess. it's being drained off, and the sky is uh, becoming darker. As uh, assuming as it's a bad thing, black Probab- hole probably sun. a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's face twists. Um, 
Uh, and this uh, this area is, uh, you know, you're walking through, it looks like uh, it once was a uh, graveyard of some kind, like a normal human graveyard, uh, but it is just vast. You're just walking through this uh, necropolis with, uh, you know, um, obelisks and tombs and you know, stumps of uh, gravestones. Um, and your, your, your little demon babies are like gleefully kind of like they burrow into the ground and like come up with a bone and they just destroy it. So sweet. Wait, they have bone muzzles on. I guess. Yeah, they sound like. Uh, have, oh, I'll take up. their bone muzzles off if they have food around. <laughs> you can feed them through it. <laughs> they're they're doing their best to uh get into what, what trouble room. they can smush their face into it Those <laughs> little smash 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 smash, oh, smash, smash. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> perfect <laughs> gotta mash oh. it up first and then they can suck up <laughs> the slurry Ugh. bone smoothie <laughs> meat slurry um so that's happening um Anything in particular you would like to do here while they are burrowing through the graves? <laughs> Can we uh, get they, them they, to burrow under the gates? <laughs> oh, you, you're, you're through the gates. They're just, oh, I'm just, sorry. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go. Demarcation. <laughs> We're gonna treat these gates as a big obstacle, though. <laughs> you can. They're... We're pretty. I don't know. We can. I know. Sears trying to burrow ladder. under. Squillette's trying to build a trebuchet, and I'm just like. This is blowing the wind. This is the comedy portion. <laughs> it's open. Well, I got this bone ladder now. <laughs> I'm really committed to burrowing under this. God. <laughs> There could be cool stuff under there. What if there's more friends? Could be treasure. Could always be treasure. <laughs> be treasure. Um, so at this point, we're through the gates, and there's a cemetery that the yeah, just this vast necropolis you're going uh, through, uh, and your little buddies are defiling every step next. of the way. Yeah, well, they gotta eat. Yeah, do. <laughs> Three babies. And they're gonna help us eat the necromancer. <laughs> um you uh you hear a yelp uh oh, no. from one of them. A yelp review, no, one babies. star. Yep, zero stars. Um no. like, like kind of like pops up and it's got a like a, a bone in its teeth that's like bash, 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 trying to smash it, and then it kind of like and goes underground. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm I'm gonna go after when it's hurting my babies. <laughs> Uh, and you hear you start hearing more of these yelp oh no and like <laughs> tries to like flap flap away on its little meat baby wings um, yeah and uh like a this gray uh, it looks like a tentacle at first but you can see that it's actually kind of like moist uh, and with like a ridge down the middle it's probably more like a, a tongue the little baby is trying to flap away and it just shoots out of uh, one of the defiled graves and, like like wraps itself around it and squeezes and like meat baby turns and like like if you squeeze a sausage she wants kind of like pops out and then pulls it back down i want to i want to whip that tongue with my razor tipped intestine whip yeah get it because yeah, nobody does that bones. to our friends who are going to help yeah, us eat the Yeah, this is a graveyard full of bones, so. <laughs> so. Let me add them next. Uh, so that, that sounds like a thrash. Yeah, like, it's not that matters. I got a one in everything because I got two death dice. Death dice! Yeah. Metal. Metal. <laughs> so, hey, what happens? How about a 20? Mm. Oh, no. Mm. A 20 is bad. That's good, right? Yeah. It's a big number. <laughs> Normally uh, really good in other games. That, not this one. That one goes into doom. Um, not, not uh, so you do you do manage to get your uh, razor and test whip around it and kind of like yank it and like splits it off and the thing flops to the ground with a squish, Aha, baby. Success. Um, <laughs> uh, and as you do that, uh, two more shoot out of the ground oh. right by you. One wraps around your leg and one is like wraps around your body like pinning one of your arms uh, the, the arm without the whip to your body uh, touche and you feel like the uh it's it's like a lamprey tongue kind of like kind of bites into your skin like oh rough, no like shark skin sandpaper uh, you can feel it kind of like biting and pulling uh, well so played pull, ground pull tongue. away from it well played 
definitely take some skin with it. For the purposes of this game, can we say that bones, the teeth are bones? Sure. Despite it not being Hey, don't forget, I do have my meat armor all around me now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, Definitely pulling your meat armor. Someone got their, like, face melted off last time. Like, you got, was it you that, like, got half from the, because you have the death dice? You got, like, your, a lot of your armor kind of, like, Maybe maybe it was. I don't remember. Maybe it was Seer. Someone someone got fucked up because of their death dice. I don't. I don't think I remember. ended up with death dice last session. So, I mean, it yeah. might have been me. I just don't remember it because I definitely yeah. have death dice. Hmm. Uh, so I anyway, think I'd this, like to help Melodica. It's pull, pulling at your skin and armor. Oh, son of a! I either bitch. want to take its own teeth and run it back nice. through its body. Oh yeah. Uh, or oh, it, there's a graveyard. It, it doesn't have teeth. It's like some... a, it's like a tongue. Does, does it have okay. talent? <laughs> it's just like yeah. Does it have denticles? Sand, sandpaper, kind of. Okay. Well, anyway, it's a graveyard, right? So there's kind of oh, yeah. bones in the ground. Okay. So I bones. really want to just yeah. take the bones in the ground and have them just kind of spike up into it. Cool. I have my own metal moments. And you gotta do like an Arnold Schwarzenegger moment. You just got boned. Don don don. No more uh, boner jokes, everybody. <laughs> three power orbs. Oh, that's a lot of orbs. Orbs of power. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck them up. Somehow this I've game kept all my orbs in the same place. It's easy to get fucked up in this game when it's just a 50-50 right. chance on every orb. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice. Ooh, wow. Wow. A nine, a 19, <laughs> and an 11. Take that, orbs. <laughs> um cool so yeah uh it they definitely like shoot out of the ground uh and spike the tongues that are grabbing melodica and they kind of like ah, shrivel and like flail around um and but while you're doing that uh they're like you see a giant gray tongue or two like these long thin snaky tongues uh come out of like every other grave uh within eyesight and they're just kind of like thrashing around and you're able to just spike all of them uh just like nailing to the ground with bones and cutting them in half and like bones like doing like a nice skewer thing up the middle um get a little yeah we have a lot this is like way too much of the movie <laughs> yeah <this footage. laughs> shish kebab now, version, that, a popsicle version pod racing yeah <laughs> that was metal queen <laughs> um and when 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 the dust clears, uh, there's just the the graveyard is turned into this field of just like it's kind of like uh, the Normandy beach only with bones and giant gray tongues. <laughs> and does that mean more food for the remaining gargoyles? Oh yeah, they're yeah. they're going to town. Out, <laughs> now yeah. they're just like eating off of them like state fair chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a little shish kebab of. <laughs> Normally, I'm a fan of getting some tongue, but not like that. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one, one, one doomed eye there. Um. Doomed eye. I, I, I can. Let's roll that doomed eye. I want to see uh, what, like, what they took from you. From me. If anything. Yeah. Or if you uh, destroy the tongue gotcha. that was getting you. Yeah. So just oh, one. Sorry, I didn't mean to before. Roll my pass. one doom die. Yeah, let's roll the doom die. Oh no, that's perfect. You're good. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, great. Uh, so this die me, goes to eleven. Tell me how you get rid of that uh, those tongues on you. <laughs> Gross, epic way. Uh, well, I feel like um, Squillette's teeth maneuver has kind of just shredded the tongues that were all on me. I'm like, oh, perfect, and I just absorb them into my armor. So yeah. now become I have, I, so it kind of like absorbs to like repair the parts that they damaged. Oh so my nice. god! The damage. There's like a yeah. low angle shot with like yeah. lightning, the lightning of the black sun behind you. <laughs> it's like they damage the armor. Now they become part of the armor. That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a new. It's like a costume change. Now it's like yeah. all all great. That's black. how they sell more so. toys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, new yeah I think I'm a little. Melodica. I'm a little like I, I always have the Frankenstein patchwork thing going, but because there were so many tongues around me that got shredded, and absorbed, it's a little more uniform and sleek now because it's mostly mm. tongue. Like giant undead anteater tongues. Yeah. yeah. Tongue suit. 
Tung 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 yeah, tongues. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, Squillet has like devastated this uh, graveyard. It's just uh, you as you walk. Uh, it is quite a walk through, uh, and it looks like there were not only the tongues, but as you go forward, there's uh, these you know other sort of like one-armed, half-body things there that were probably other things under there. would have given you trouble, but now they've either been like pierced up through the skull or like they're hanging there and they're like eh, trying to now like, it's like we're walking through a museum you. instead yeah, it's like, like a oh, haunted house this. museum it's a rare <laughs> just one. Long as none of them are the same species that's the thing in the river that we saved yeah <laughs> so it's like moral these, being don't like fuck squillet babies <laughs> yeah yeah, and, the gargoyles just appreciate how much how well they've taken care of there. They, they swarm up each little yeah. thing. These, these, these creatures off. that like don't probably understand that we are not food. <laughs> yeah, they have like they they have no loyalty to us in their minds whatsoever. But we're all yeah. like we're yeah. taking care of them. They like us. Yeah, my like bone leashes just pulling them. <laughs> they're all just like as soon as the meat runs out, those three are next. And we're yeah, we're all like they're our friends. It's just like uh, a so cat. You can take that doom die and put it wherever you like. Melodica. Sweet. I'm going to. Uh, to where am I? That's not me. That's me. Well, then let's put that back in thrash. So I got one nice. of at least one in everything. One of everything. Cool. One of everything. Um, so you make it through that graveyard and it's just a gross mess. Uh, but it's no, <laughs> no danger. A glorious uh, mess. <laughs> um, and as you reach the edge, uh, there's, again, it's almost a plaza, kind of uh, flat and just paved with bones, uh, all, all kinds, human, demon, animal, hard to tell. Um, and you can see the uh, Ash Cathedral in the center of it. Um, and the, you know, it's the black orb in the sky, like, you you want to say it's like fist sized now, but it's clearly it can't be because it's far away. Um, and the only thing you see between you and the Ash Cathedral uh, is a uh, giant throne, um, sort of arcing up, um, made of this same sort of ash bone. Um, and sitting on it is uh, what looks like the statue of a. Uh, a tall robed figure with a uh, brilliant white uh, fucked up sun mask uh, and its arms are chained to the throne. The chains are like carved, like it's, it's like a statue, but it looks, it appears to be chained to the throne. Hmm. Suspicious. Like, do we recognize the figure or? Um, you don't, but the viewers might. Oh, I see, thank you. <laughs> right? <laughs> Is this the big bad guy? And we're like, well, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Meanwhile, on, on MQ fans subreddit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that's Craig. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, I don't know. Let's keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back and mess with that gate some more. There's Let's a, make friends with it. Headline of what today's spectacular reveal means for the MQU. <laughs> I, uh, I actually want to go back and uh, work on Sears' plan to burrow under the gate. <laughs> we really didn't give that gate enough. I, we did really miss out. I bet there were more things under the ground. Obviously, since the graveyard fiasco, we... See, now this is, wrong, I, this, is me, this is me in video games where I'm like, before <laughs> I go to my objective, I'm exploring every square inch, Click making sure I didn't team. miss anything. <laughs> There could be treasure pigeon. we missed. It could be <laughs> hidden I was just quests. Thinking about making a bone tank for us, just in case. Like you know how you like get ready for the final mm -hmm. thing. Oh yeah. Let's have Mont a montage. Make a big, big bone tank. Make bone <laughs> shields. You can definitely bone up if you want to. You want to give that yeah. a bone up. I like it. I mean, it seems like a wise thing to do. Yeah, give me them three power dice. <laughs> oh yeah, I yeah yeah I'll do it. I was joking, but I'll do it. <laughs> oh, no. I'll come in. That was a good plan. Good plan. A, a nine, eight, and a 13 from a bone eight. tank. All right. So uh, the eight goes into doom. Doom. Um, oh, shut up. Risk my doom for this tank. The 13 goes into uh, a different. Uh, oh, it's special. Thing. Yeah. Tides of fate. Do I lose a power? 
You lose a power, but you gain a thresh or speed. Okay, sorry. One for the even. Yeah, goes even into goes into doom. doom. Uh, one out phase. of power. Yeah. And then okay, so one, stays. one of the ones from power goes to one of the LG. Thrash or speed. Can you remind me what thrash is? Fighting. Fighting. Okay, I that. Violence. Violence. I feel like I've been doing fighting. a lot of. I've been doing a lot of fighting and not a lot of speedy things, so maybe that makes more sense. Yes, yeah, I keep trying. Oh, I, it's like the the part of me, the, the rebellious part of me is like I want to use my speed because I haven't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do something speedy. But tell me how awesome my bone tank is, though. You tell me how awesome. Huh? What? Me? slow pan across the bone tank while triumphant music. Well, it definitely has like the um, boat, the tank tires that treads. So they're each, each, yeah, the treads, each of the tread is a bone mm -hmm. and it's massive. We can all sit in it. Um, and there's even a little like bone turret that will shoot. Oh. Nice bones. Um, cool. That do die. It's clean uh, and sparkly and not any meat on it. <laughs> and there never will yes. be ever in the past or the future or in the. Um, are you, are you got a the, the, laser shield? Did, did you pay for the, the meat proofing on this? <laughs> and a lava shield. And it's got water. It could go underwater and it could go in the. It's got wings and it can fly. <laughs> You, uh, were, you, were you pulling the bones off of the, the plaza, like the flooring? Uh, yeah. I feel like Primordia yeah. would understand. Oh, they're, they're not hers. Um, uh, as, as you're doing that, uh, you get your bone tank together, and you kind of like pull, uh, you're grabbing one last piece to like, like the last, last bit, um, it and it, uh, it halts in midair, his rib bone. Um, and uh, pan back and the uh, statue with its uh, has its arm uh, outstretched uh, with the chains hanging off it. It still looks like a statue. The chains still look like they're carved out of stone, um, but it has its arm outstretched there. Uh, and then it, you hear this like rumble and it closes its hand and the bone flies into it and it crumbles it into dust. That's disrespectful to bones. <laughs> How, How dare, dare you? you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and uh, he, the it stands. Um, that was her favorite bone. Like a, My best. I love ribs. Fif Fifteen foot tall man with this uh, golden, uh, not, not golden, his, uh, ivory mask. Um, mm -hmm. and it still looks like stone, but the the robes are flowing as if they were fabric again. Um, and sort of like stands with its hands at its side with chains hanging off. Oh, and okay. Just just kind of looks looks at the three of you. Um, and runs and... away in fear. <laughs> yeah, the end credits. <laughs> um, it does the, kind of like body. the the full the the the, uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, full mask kind of thing where it's like it clearly doesn't move, but just by like moving its head a little bit is like almost seems like it's smirking at you. Um, I've been and, watching uh, Doom Patrol and watching some just great mask work throughout on that. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, a voice booms from behind it, behind the mask, and says, so you are the ones that were sent to do what a dozen others could not. Um, I think Sire at this point steps forward to face the 15 foot tall statue with the chains <laughs> in, its hand, in its hands. And my weapons are also chains. Nice. So she has her two sulfurous chains and we see the shot of like both of them matched up. <laughs> <laughs> the double reverse anime shot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In my, uh, in my head canon, Sire never talks, but that doesn't have to be true. Oh, okay, yeah. I think she just- But then we understand them. what she's saying all the time. Oh. Yeah, it's just a sneer and a short, like, lead with the oh. nose nod. <laughs> oh, shit. oh it down. I would like to roll my thrash die to attack, yeah. to attack with the chains and try and rip the mask off. Oh. Yeah, let's do that. Step out of the bone tank. I like it. 
<laughs> I'm sure this will work perfectly, guys. I feel like I'm just like, this is your one chance to surrender before you incur the wrath of the Metal Queens. I'm still like peeking out of the top of the bone tank. Like. <laughs> okay, and I'm rolling and a three and a one. Nice. Um, I feel like as I'm saying that, Sierra attacks, I'm like, all right, never mind. No chance to surrender. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so yeah. your, your chains whip out and grab either side of the, the sun mask and just pull it straight off. Um, and uh, as His you face do, looks just like that. The, uh, the <laughs> just another mask. Where his, where, his, where his face should be, uh, just like his blinding light shooting out. Ah. Um, uh, put it back, put it back, put it back. <laughs> and, uh, the, 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 mask, the mask shatters as it hits the I'm ground. I'm trying my best under very difficult oh. I'm feeling with rather a lot right now. <laughs> okay, I'm stressed. Don't... Remember, don't yell at me when I'm stressed. <laughs> um, and so I don't uh, think I've improved. I, thanks, your guys. I, I, again, the, the voice from the, uh, the from the now like blinding light uh, speaks and says, um, you know, I, I am the, uh, I am demon lord of light, uh, Lux, and I am not here to die for I've been Does dead for centuries. Light. Yes, it's and demon one, like, language. Sounds like what Latin, but you? demon language. Um, so I've been I've been dead for or is centuries. Or it multiple so lives? Cannot kill me. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm punchy. Okay, so uh, I want to ram my bone tank into his pedestal. Cool, go for it. Ash, knock him off his feet. Ash. Is that thrash? A thrash. Or, Sounds okay. thrashy. Sounds thrashy. Man, I want to right. find an excuse to use speed at some point, but <laughs> no, no, me, me too. too. I actually <laughs> had. I was gonna use speed back when we were facing that first demon that we ended up making a bargain with. Mm. That's why. That's why I had <laughs> like right, yeah. taken my copter up on the hill, my my cycle, because I was like, I was gonna ram him with speed and try to like basically oh, yeah, splatter yeah. into oh. him and wear him as armor. But then we just cut a deal with him. Like, all right, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Made a lot of time that way. Careful, but I was already I was, doodling down the hill. I was all ready to use <laughs> like, my speed. Uh, the the demon poofed and then you ran yeah. through the air, yeah. <laughs> just appearing in the corner. really fast. <laughs> Um, uh, I rolled a that, 19 that and a 10. Cool. So one of those goes into Doom. Um, looks like right. we have two in Doom now. Oh, I didn't get rid of it with him grabbing that rib, my favorite rib. Oh, no, that, okay. that's what caused the Doom. He grabbed oh. that. Um, so you, uh, tell, tell me what it looks like when you're uh, smashing what you were smashing. So part of it, it partly worked. Yeah, you got, you got one success. So you got a, a normal amount okay. of... Good stuff that happened. He's on like a pedestal, right? Uh, he was on like the like a throne, but he stood up and he's in front of it. Yeah, I've I've run into his throne and destroyed his throne and made him have to kind of stumble up. Nice. <laughs> it's mostly just to just mostly because I'm mad at him. I haven't actually. It's, it's These like are all seer, sire. Like, we're not really like hurting him. We're just attacks, like fucking with him. Yeah, are not yeah. like we're just like we're just we're captured. Tripping. He actually he actually does uh like stumble and like fall on all fours and like his hands hit the ground and like gravel shoots up because stone on bone. Um, yeah. And it's like his head Bowed is just like shooting, shooting light out. And a bunch of the little, uh, little uh, oh no, rock babies like kind of yeah. like crawl over the over the throne and like like try to gnaw at the bone. Oh, or, like, I they, forgot they to the take their bone off. muzzles off. Are you, do you want to take their bone muzzles off now? Yeah, let's take their bone muzzles off. At least yeah. bother him. Shit Some of them are like on. chewing on the bone and they turn like back stony as they like, ah, ah, oh, good rocks. I get to eat rocks again. Um, <laughs> oh, they no longer eat flesh at this point. There's, there's less flesh here in the bone plaza. Um, uh, I like Melodica, it. did you nice want to fuck with this guy too? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna, fucking... I am really take his I'm, sunglasses I'm, off. I'm tired <laughs> about, I'm blinding, I can't do much with blinding light. So I feel like I just reach out for the nearest corpses to try to encase his head in meat, hoping it will just like cook onto his head and he'll just be covered in cooked corpse and block that light out. Nice. That seems like uh, power to me. Yeah, Thanks. it does. 
Which, uh, you know, be- mistakes. Hey, 19. And then a 19. Um, yeah, so <laughs> you're definitely able, thank you, uh, <laughs> able to do that uh, easily. Uh, it's like just super, super ridiculous now. It's like this uh, tall, <laughs> tall bone statue with chains on um, and just like a, a oh grotesque, <laughs> grotesque pile of meat. We're just going to make him head. die of embarrassment. <laughs> like you a know? head that's too big for his body now. Yep. Uh, and kind of he, like a corpse euro head. Kind of like pushes, pushes up and stands again. Um, and uh, as he does, uh, the like the grossness of how like the two indentations are formed into <laughs> eye sockets and you like can see is like intestine awful grin uh o-f-f-a-l uh, you got a poop uh, mouth and it, and it a, as he poop speaks mouth. like it's bits of meat fall out uh, a little bile dribbles down his and he's got like a giant corpse head now the gore queen gross. approves you made him gross <laughs> Uh, and uh, <laughs> hey, but we're not blinded by his bright light head anymore. That's true. Um, just a glowing hero. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like, like a, a lamp, yeah. a meat lamp. Mm. Yeah, a, a hero, hero or lantern. Yeah, <laughs> hero. Or lantern. What other um, embarrassing things can we do, to this guy? <laughs> Is it slowly cooking from the inside and getting like blacker and more charred? Every yeah, time? yeah. Just like starting to scab up around the outside. Uh. <laughs> um, and uh, it, it it's as like gross like maggots fall out of his mouth. For, he's, uh, he's got maggots for teeth now. Bone. Oh um, yeah. And uh, yeah, he, he, and he like again, kind of like looks to the sky and looks at you and says, "They're even even centuries dead. You cannot defeat me." And he sort of like extends his arms out and kind of like, a, "Come on, let's see what you got." In the name of Primoria, I think that's your name, right? <laughs> Primoria. <laughs> You're like looking at your little index card, Primoria. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> um let's see. <laughs> okay, I have a silly idea. Go for it. Yeah. Um I want to use speed to dive into the face and into the light. Ooh, nice. <laughs> see what Go the hell is the going light. on up there. All right. Uh, Nothing good will come of this, but the Hopefully. speed, so 1d20. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's, That's a three. A three. <laughs> uh, hey, tell, tell, right. me, tell me what happens when, like, how, how are you doing this? And I'll tell you what, what happens as a result. Um, I think as um, Lux is, like, leaned back in this gesture, um, that's when Sire, like, um, just runs full tilt and we see like a slow <laughs> speed ramp down and back up again as she um, silhouetted against the what remains of the black sun mm-hmm. um, runs up and jumps and then um, whips the chains apart as his smile just gets unnaturally wide revealing yeah. light and then she disappears down into the light. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> well, I guess we got to go inside him now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. This might just kill me. <laughs> um, yeah, and so you you uh, you're just surrounded by bright white light at this point. Mm. Um, what would the other two of you like to do? Come on now, we can do this. Hmm? Uh, I had to readjust my exposure every time I turn my camera on or off. It's stupid. Um, I'm wondering if I might make like a bone cocoon to keep him still while, and that could set Melodica up for some kind of offensive yeah. attack. Hmm. Or I'm happy, I was like, I could actually work together with someone instead of just <laughs> continually ramming my bone tank into things. But um, I assume the bone tank has splintered it. Oh no, the bone tank is fine. He, he or had, I'm bored of it. Or you, <laughs> so you want to like disassemble the bone tank and like make a bone cocoon around him? Yeah, I was gonna make a yeah. bone cocoon around him. Cool. Uh, let's roll your dune dice for that. 
doom, a doom dice. dice. Yeah. What does it mean to roll doom dice? Uh, you roll doom dice, and then uh, ones that are even go to death, and ones that are odd, you can put back where you're. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Well, that's 18 cool. and a 13. So cool. Uh, so 13, uh, you can put it anywhere because oh, my font has changed. The tides oh, yeah. of made them a little more legible to my old eyes. <laughs> like it. So I'm moving one to death, one to and death, one and then back, one to wherever you like. Yeah. Oh. Maybe one of us should have some speed. I've got one die of speed. <laughs> I have one die of speed as I've well. I've got one die of everything. Uh, I feel like mine might be, I haven't made a good case for getting more speed though, so I'll probably power. Okay, yeah. Cool. Bone power. Um, <laughs> Not yeah, so really the, been speedy. The bone tank uh, flies apart around you and just sort of like <laughs> into shape uh, around him. Um, <clears throat> Sire is still inside. Uh, Melodica, did you want to <laughs> add it again? Um, you know, for lack of, uh, I'm just gonna try to thrash that mofo with my razor tipped intestines. Yeah, nice. I'll just it's always a good move. It's always a good move. Peaky intestines. <laughs> but I'm not, not. I'm gonna try to not hit the head because I don't want to mess up my pristine corpse. Face cover. Also, Sire oh, is in there. Sire, Sire, Sire is blew, in there. Sire blew also through that. Our yeah. friend. That's true. So I'm gonna try to. Yeah, I feel like the the meat mask is still there, but it's kind of unnaturally <laughs> slipping apart. <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, I'm just gonna try to get all 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 nine razor tips lodged in his torso. And a fifteen. Nice. Do that. Um, yeah, so not only are, like they're not just in his torso, but you've managed to like wedge each one between uh, the pieces of bone that are in yeah. him. So they're actually like embedded into into him. Um, now I'm ready to ride him like a bull for eight Sire. seconds. Uh, uh, missed opportunity. Sire, uh, are you just going to hang out in there or do you want to uh, try and get <laughs> just out? Just drive him from the inside. Either, yeah. either answer is fine. I got uh, something for both. Oh, I like uh, Squillette's idea of um, somehow controlling him from within. Make him say dumb yeah. stuff. <laughs> um, I, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Um, we kill people of embarrassment. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it doesn't do any damage. Because Cyrus is sitting there going, I'm so stupid. I'm so <laughs> hungry. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm try, I would really like to figure out some way to control his or manipulate his body from inside um, mm. the light that you I'm gotta in. Gotta find the little levers. <laughs> yeah. You got yeah. acid. You're made of acid. You could like melt and reform parts of it. Ooh. Maybe that's just what I'll try and do. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to start blasting in acid. all directions with acid. Oh, yeah. The no, all direction right. acid blast. Uh, and I have only one sire. die with which to do that. So yeah, let's see one it. of my favorite, one of my favorite sire moves indeed. So yeah, she does acid that. blast. Is a one, one. perfect natural one. I locked her in the closet once, and she did that. <laughs> whole closet. Um, I like so, to call it the defective Capri Sun. <laughs> from the uh, from the uh, outside, it just looks like uh, so you've wrapped him in bone, you've Soda. pierced him with these uh, with these <laughs> razor razor whips, razor tipped uh, intestines, and uh, from from all the parts uh, that are not covered there, uh, pieces of light are starting to Ooh. pierce out, uh, and they get bigger, and the whole meat. thing just boom explodes, uh, and just Sire's just like standing there in the middle of it. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> Chains uh, in like, Wait, this is a yeah. guy we want to beat up, right? You want Metal queen, friend, right? <laughs> See, it turns out this um, was our one ally in this world who was going to help us <laughs> defeat the necromancer. And uh, I don't feel no, like we did a not, lot of not so good talking. Um, Your diary today's going to be a great day. <laughs> uh, Finally, so the pro prophesied ones are coming to defeat the necromancer. <laughs> I'm sure it will be great friends and work together oh, no. to bring back the city of life. I've this written is... all this fan fiction about Spilett, Melodica, and Sire, and I can't wait to meet them in person. This is what happens when you attack before talking. My... Oh, no. They signed the dolls um, I made for them. But I just hope there's... the evil bone gargoyles don't eat them. Oh, they're, they're they eating are, all the parts. They're mindless, <laughs> terrible creatures that are irritable <laughs> and useless. <laughs> 
Uh, they're they're all over the little bits and pieces. There's stone and bone and grizzle and like little glowing shards and stuff. And uh, like some the, of them are turning into light after nothing the light. <laughs> uh, I mean, if he was a friend, he would tell us the truth, and the truth would be that we couldn't defeat him. So therefore, not a friend. Uh, so like his half like smashed pumpkin head face is still there and kind of like slobbering out of one side of the mouth. Um, like there's like a, a kind of like an eyeball. It looks like it maybe like made out of like half the kid <laughs> kidney or something that kind yeah, of like yeah. swivels towards you and kind of like like it's not attached to anything. So he's just, this is it's like just that magic art talk. that's made of vegetable yeah. portraits. Oh yeah, yeah. Only with guts. Um, what and is that? The, the eyeball kind of like rolls around and kind of looks at all of you. And kind of like rolls upwards, looking at the sky, and says, "I told you you could not defeat me, because I have accomplished my duty." No duty. He said duty. Uh, uh, And then, like, as he says that, one of the uh, little goblins jumps on and devours the head and turns it like a little gross inside thing. Good job, Um, goblin. And uh, in the sky, uh, the black. (laughs) thing has Uh-oh. dwindled to a pinpoint uh, and the last tendril of it sort no, of whips around boom and goes into the cathedral I'm sure um, that's not going to be a problem stall, I should have thrown some bones up tactic there kept it open. accomplished <laughs> son of a bitch so he just made it. you fight him until the ritual was done well guess there's nothing more we can do here <laughs> well, I mean, I guess we lay down let's embarrass some more demons yeah. <laughs> There was an attempt. Let's just have a metal queen party and and celebrate the end of the world. uh, By the absence of it, uh, you realize, like, while that thing was coming down and kind of like popped into the cathedral, um, there was like, you didn't really notice it because it had been happening the entire time, like this, like, thrumming deep hum uh, as that was kind of like charging up. And as the last bit of darkness went to the cathedral, like everything just, it just stopped. And like, it's eerily silent. It's like almost like stunning. Like, like when the like power the goes out in your house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, You're like, oh, everything was making a lot of noise. I just noticed. <laughs> well. Uh, to the cathedral. Let's go see maybe. how things are. I'm sure it's fine. This should be fine. fine. Everything we should go fine. tidy up at least. We probably just I'm gotta sure like, go reset a breaker over. or something. Yeah, and totally. It's... So I think like visually, like as like he says his last word of like because now it's too late, and then right at that time you see the acid whip chain whip through and cut his face in half, and you just see Sire stalking off towards the entrance of the cathedral. Nice. <laughs> Um, and it uh, is a bit of a hike, uh, but you you did get there eventually. Um, and it is uh, it looks like it was a palace at one point that's been like sort of over like if bones could be overgrown, that's kind of like what happened. Like the whole thing like calcified up um, into like these big like twisty gothic spires, um, and uh, it like you can the doors will open easily. That's a really weird. <laughs> so we should and dig under the door. Yeah. So if another like. door for us to defeat both a trebuchet and digging under. It. Yeah. Definitely don't try. How many hit points does this door have? <laughs> yeah. Can we um, embarrass I'd like door? to make a little uh, skeleton army for okay. funsies. Just for funsies? Just to have some more bodyguards with us. Because uh, the gargoyle Drinks in numbers. Guy are super helpful let's see let's see that power roll yeah you're pretty much like right, just two. keeping them from eating you <laughs> yeah all right i rolled a one and an eight okay uh one of those goes into doom right and, uh, so you're you're able to raise a reasonable number of a little little skellies uh so little, you skellies. little army little skellies. of little They're shorter than skellies. usual little skellies <laughs> Lil Skellies. Yeah. Lil Skellies. Um, cool. And uh, the spin off animated cartoon. <laughs> uh, as you, uh, there, so entering the cathedral is like, oh, chibi, long, chibi anime. long, huge, uh, you know, uh, central chamber. What's it called? Um, the middle. Yeah. Big, big room. Um, and uh, at the end of it, uh, what is a, uh, like a stone, 
Hinge. What you call? What you call it? Stone <laughs> table. <laughs> big big stone thing. Altar. Thank you. Um, and uh, a dais? There is no. A it's different. No, dais. We're not playing D and D. There's no dais. Um, <laughs> uh, but um, and there's like uh, yeah. So that she uh, there is a uh, woman lying on it um, who looks as if she's made of stone, um, and behind her uh, a normal sized person. Uh, just uh, there, it just looks like a robe. You can't really see anything. Just standing there behind her. Okay, I'm sure this is a perfectly friendly person. Let's yeah. make friends. This is our ally now. <laughs> <laughs> we we just decide if someone's a friend or not, and then we go full force into it. I think this guy's name is Steve. <laughs> We've come to help you reset the Great Breaker. Um, and there's and we, the, the entire place is completely silent and motionless. The the cloaked figure is just standing there. So what? So we'll was have to move this... very quietly. <laughs> yeah, what was he trying to do? Why are we mad? Uh, defiling the grave of oh, the okay, Metal yeah. Queen. Oh. The tomb. So we got to keep her safe. Pardon me, you're not planning to defile a grave, are you? <laughs> it would be nice to hear some info about what he's trying to do. <laughs> like, give an opportunity for a villain model. Um, do, do we know, like, is this place that we're in, do we know anything about it? Like, do we know, like, this, oh, this is her, or do we just not even know? We just know it's. Uh, you, you know yeah, that. Do we the, know nothing about any of these places? You know that was the the, the site. We've never of left the, our hometown. The final battle uh, between humanity and the demon hordes. Um, I mean, specifically, this location, this building we just entered. Yeah, the, yeah. This is the like the center of it, uh, and this is where uh, Primordia sort of like fell, but also like turned a bunch of demons into right, right, right. dust and yeah. stone. Well, maybe we should ask them. Who uh, dares yeah. enter the final resting place of the great Primoria? What's up, fuckface? That too. <laughs> uh, there's no reply and no movement. Oh, Good. rude. Good. All right, Sk Sire, it's your turn to go inside another <laughs> demon. Pop into oh, okay. his face. <laughs> you know I mean? We I can take a turn. Or I could put one of the bone guys inside. Replace his skeleton with a skeleton of your choosing Puppets. that you control. Yeah. Demon puppets. Point. Um, let's see. I mean, I could try and use acid to blind all of the figures. There's just uh, one, or how many? Yeah, there's just there's just the one hooded figure standing behind. Oh, okay. The table there. Can I throw my teeth circlet, <laughs> or I, do your acid thing first? Um. It, yeah. Is there any water? Is like there any like vessel of water around the altar or anything? Ooh, I'm gonna say no. This is a this is a dusty bony place. Okay. Waterfalls. Okay. <laughs> well, we got acid in our bodies. <laughs> I'll bleed for you. Ready. <laughs> Should I have not cut myself? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe hurts. approve the plan before cutting yourself. Ow. Gonna need a salve. Yeah, I'm going to say, I, I would like to say that there are dry, like, gargoyle figures, actual carved yeah. statues in the, up in, up at the tops of columns and things like that. And I think yeah. I'm casting a spell to them and we see, like, the camera rests on the gargoyle for a second and then suddenly mm -hmm. gouts of, of acid mm -hmm. are spilling yeah. down from it from, nice. from their directions but... on the... Like they're vomiting. <laughs> Nice. Bro, on, on the on the hooded figure. Oh, I went awesome. the other end. I was going for diary. <laughs> oh. Yours um, is cool. more roll, likely. Roll that power die. I'm going to roll one D. of things. I'm sure nothing will Master go wrong. have a, a statue piece. Natural one, one again. <laughs> yeah. Maybe some are vomiting, some are pooping, some are peeing. It depends yeah. on the design. Some of have individual like statue. armpit. <laughs> Um, as, as it does pour from their mouths uh, onto the hooded figure, um, yeah, sucker, and and it just uh, kind of like sizzles and collapses. Success. 
Yeah. Oh, good job. Well done. And uh, there's just pools, it pools of acid around the around the. Uh, <laughs> uh, That's our acid there. queen. <laughs> yeah, she just like gives a nod, like problem solved. <laughs> well done. Well done. Unfortunately, that was Primoria's reincarnate form. Um, <laughs> <laughs> kept her from coming back <laughs> yeah now I'm the queen <laughs> as, are, as are the rules of metal queens who whomsoever defeats <laughs> uh, so now there's just the, the uh, lady lying on the altar um, is this a, like, I don't a, want to a make real, assumptions a real live lady or and a statue she, lady she looks or she looked like stone when you came in uh, mm. but she is mm. starting to look more fleshy now mm. Gross. Mm. Uh, and and but by her side are a um there's, there's a uh, on her head there's a crown with uh four faces on it uh, and uh, by her side there's a uh, a like double X sword thing, and the oh. other one has like a, a cauldron on a chain. Oh yeah, this is the one that everyone okay. recognizes that we don't. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Omg, quick, recognize statue. <laughs> how about this for a quick acting plan? I'll try to whip that sword with my intestines while Squillet. You should encase that whatever it is in a bone prison. So it's trapped. You you do recognize so that, I, that is. I that, made that is a like mistake the last time. Of Primordia, like that. Those are her weapons. That's her crown. Oh, those are her weapons. weapons. Yeah. So I want to make a bone weapon. iron maiden for the other guy. I still don't feel good about that other guy. Be... Something's too oh, easy. I thought we were the guy with the hood. Oh no, that the, he got collapsed by the acid. Yeah. I remember oh, that. he's collapsed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He touched yeah, he, the thing of pure he, evil. And... He just Ben Kenobi out. Yeah. Will this actually be Primordia, or is this going to be like some evil entity possessing Primordia? Because we just don't. Well, no we just get down on one knee. Get ready. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, that's a good Our queen. idea. Um, yeah. So I as, have no like, suspicions. As as you wait wait it out, uh, her the stone does turn to flesh, um, and after a moment, like you see, there's a breath, takes a breath, and pushes herself up. The uh, little queen is back. Takes her weapons and <laughs> kind of like look looks around. Um, and then looks at uh, the three metal queens there and says, you've come for me. I think this will be the first time Cyrus says anything in the episode. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's just, we destroyed the defiler. <laughs> Your tomb is safe now. Where is he? <laughs> she just kind of, and then she's back to silent mode and just kind of gestures at the Obi Wan Kenobi <laughs> robe. I see the cloak of the great necromancer king, General. <laughs> what was the great necromancer king, General? <laughs> Necro oh, okay. necromancer, necromancer General, necromancer king. Oh, great I necromancer. I briefly king heard general. necromancer king Gerald, and I'm like, no, no, Jerry. I'm this out. That sounds like a government position, the necromancer general. <laughs> um, says, I do not see him. Where could he be? <laughs> and then just kind of awkward shrugs all around. And we, we said thought, to the fight the Titan. We thought he was acided. <laughs> I don't know that we believe that. I mean, we... sire, acided, bath of acid. <laughs> You're standing before your queen? <laughs> I thought uh, we were no, all kneeling. No, we were all kneeling. Oh, no, we, yeah. all know. we all know. You were all kneeling. My, my queen, queen, I have waited my entire life for this moment. How <laughs> may we serve you? And like, Squillette gets even lower. <laughs> Squillette has been like a nun of this like oh. cult for years and is like, <laughs> so much fanfic. <laughs> um, are you the, uh, I, I guess I am asking you, and she also asks you. Um, you are the only three metal queens I see. Are you the last at Skull Mountain, or are there more? Good question. 
out of game. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, are we? I wonder. I wonder if they just don't. Like, it's been so yeah. long that they're not even sure w- that they are metal queens and that there are no other people. Oh. <laughs> they're just like, oh, we're the only ones. Yeah, I feel like we wouldn't that know because I mean, the, whole, the whole world was in this giant shambles of demons everywhere. So I feel Seems like, like it's only us. Well, I feel like yeah. we don't know. Like, if there are other metal queens, we don't know about it. But there could be other there, cadres of metal. We're the queens only nine demons we ever, know. Of. Everywhere else in the world is fucked up. It's called yeah. the last, the last bastion of humanity. I, I feel like oh. the last other one fell recently. Yeah. Um, to the to the necromancer general. There was Kyle. <laughs> yeah. Kyle. Yeah. Um, and so she does. Kyle, the last, the star queen. <laughs> she turned. Yeah. The, she the, turned the last. She murdered. The last three then. Blood oh, queen. Job is mm. almost complete. Um, and she. Oh, uh, that seems bad. Wait. Takes her sword, <laughs> axe thing, and uh, tries to like three stooges you like, all three heads right. off at once. Um, I'd like to see a speed roll from everyone. Let it so low to the ground. You miss me. <laughs> I would like uh, to explain right. what the fuck, my queen. All right, I will roll one d twenty. As will I. I rolled a nineteen. All right, you're good. And oh, we're all rolling one. Hey, I rolled a nineteen. 19. Uh, you're all rolling yours. Oh, oh. I two. all right. Sweet. My queen, why? Oh, uh, so that goes into doom. Um, so the uh, sire and melodica kind of like roll out of the way. Um, but we knew the, this was well, coming. What is it coming we out had of? A feeling. I uh, was so, just like, I'm ready. <laughs> um, so uh, it's the uh, it's her like double bladed axe sword thing. Um, it's like an axe with two sword blades coming out of it, um, and it just catches you square like on the like your armored shoulder, uh, and just like sends you flying, Honor. smashed smashed into a wall. I've um, dreamed of this day. Uh, where's the I, die coming out both, of? Did you roll both speed dice? Oh, I did, only had one speed dice. One. Oh, you only had speed? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's... Oh, was that a speed? Oh, yeah, yeah I'm too speed slow. Dice. I made a mistake not putting more in speed. <laughs> uh, my queen. What? I, I know your ways are mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so she, like, as she follows through with that spat, and you, like, you go flying, like, a hundred feet uh, up against like the Can middle of the Can my skeletons catch me? And well, they're, you're going to get caught because uh, as she like follows through, she reaches her arm out uh, and skeletal arms come out of the wall and grab you. Oh, I see some. Held by my queen. Um, <laughs> if you want to try and get out, uh, you have a couple of At least she to knew that, that I wouldn't like corpse. <laughs> um, uh, and she says, uh, I, I see my uh, I, I see my one of my lords has delayed you enough to allow me to complete the ritual, taking over this fine vessel. You're not my queen. Oh, okay. She doesn't her, her, talk that way. Her body That's... was destroyed when she uh, petrified the hordes, but her soul remained within, and it took so long. <laughs> to tease her out bit by painful bit. No. Poking the ultimate and, defilement. With, with, with needles of darkness the pricking her tweezers. soul, <laughs> tweezing out. Uh, it must have been torture for I don't know how long, but every last remnant of her soul has left this body allowing me to use it Man. to defeat the last of the demon queens or the metal queens. You too. Um, and like the skill, skill arms are like ripping at ripping at a uh, squid. Uh, do you want to try to get out of there? They're skeleton arms. Isn't this yeah, my thing? It is your yeah. thing. So I'm just like, nah. <laughs> uh, roll both your dice. You're two doom dice. Don't fucking take skeletons at me. That's my thing. I'm mad now. But. <laughs> Only kind of fifteen to ten. Uh, so oh. one goes in death. Oh no! Great. And one goes back to wherever you like. This is the darkest moment for the metal queens. Um, I I fuck them up. You do. Tell me how you. Tell me how you get out of there. 
Uh, put my back in power and be slow as fuck. <laughs> I guess I should give myself speed. No, I'm gonna have a zero for speed. <laughs> fuck you, we're not moving from this spot till you're dead. Um, how do I get out of it? Yeah. Um, I make more bones to grab the hands to grab his bone hands <laughs> and they arm wrestle nice. open. Nice. Uh, I refuse great, so to you, touch his stupid Who bones. can play at that game? You mentioned it, but you uh, you do fall out, knocks the wind out of you uh, <laughs> into your, on, the, on the ground there. Um, so uh, Melodica and Seer, what are you going to do? I, as she's following oh, yeah. through from her swipe against Squillet, I'm going to try to to raise her intestine that weapon out of her grasp. I'm going to disarm her. All right. Raise her intestines. Sounds like <laughs> thrash. That, that it is. If you're, are you trying to disarm her or like fuck yes, her up? Yes, I'm trying to disarm her. I'm trying. To I'm going to say that speed. Uh, and you could steal the axe from I her. I mean, if yeah. You... Yeah. Regard, it, it's a one either way. So. And survey says a one. And it is a one. Lots of ones. Yeah. Uh, which are really good. Raining ones. <laughs> um, yeah. So you uh, you do whip that and like yank it out of her hand, and she's mad. Um, you know, she uh, they um, both of them uh, are not used to uh, using the weapons. Like uh, this is. This is a new mm. body for the Necromancer King, so uh, it's not too difficult to yank her weapon out of his hand. I'm going to kill you with your own weapon. Um, I have a hit, unless I bet uh, I'm not up I, yet, though. I have one thing I would like to throw in for my thrash, or I guess it would be my speed. I might screw this yeah, up. For it. But I would like to, in parallel motion, use my um, chains to get the scepter from her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't it's, know. It's, it's like a sensor. Sensor, like yeah. A, yeah. I don't know what it does out of, out of game, but we don't want but to have it. it. But yes, uh, I will roll one die, one d twenty. Take it, take it. And yeah, this will set. This will set oh, up what I want to do. Sorry, All right. That's not That's okay. So you were using that. Uh, what were you using to do that? That was speed, and that was with oh, with your chains. Yeah. Um, I cool. moved that over to doom. doom. Um, I'm sorry, everyone. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, so she like loses that weapon and sees you coming at it. And as uh, your chains whip out, uh, smoke comes out of the, the sensor, uh, like tendrils mm. of smoke and oh, grapple no. onto the chains and yank them out of your hands. Oh. Uh, while they're doing that, I have a thing that I wanted to try. Yeah, go for it. Once I get up on my feet. So we know for sure that Primoria's soul is out of this body. Yeah. Well, we know that's what okay. we've been told by. <laughs> and I'm assuming this body has a skeleton inside of it. Probably. So <laughs> I'm going to try to call her skeleton to step out of her. Yeah. Oh, ripping, can, ripping through her body. Can I just introduce that with one thing that I think would be cool is, um, like, she, I, I she has, I assume Primordia has some smug look at having destroyed my chains, <laughs> and I think Sire gets another line here. It's like, good. I bought her enough time. <laughs> and then... Always wanted to try this out on a, <laughs> another queen. Ooh. I've only ever tried this out on demons. Well, well I also feel it's, it's right up Squillet's alley because, you know, as we've already learned, she's so loyal to his queen. Now she's calling oh, yeah. to her queen, to the bones of her queen to come to her. She's like also, you're covered in flesh, country. which is gross. <laughs> <laughs> Let's clean you off. Three and a five. Three and a get five. Defiled flesh off of her royal bones. <laughs> get some domestic beetles and get you spick and span, queen. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, so the uh, as uh, Sire says the line, she like looks over at Squlet, who's doing her thing. And <laughs> the, uh, first her arms kind of go, go floppy. Um, and you see like bulging, <laughs> bulging here. And the arms kind of like pull, pull the skin of the head down around the skull and like she's kind of like squeeze like squeezing out of a tight dress kind of um, <laughs> like getting it off the like head peel, peels off uh and the skeleton do you want the skeleton to do something or just like are you just pulling it i out? just wanted to walk towards me and kind of stand beside me okay it's my skeleton now and say it's proud it's of my, you it's, no it's one of my thralls <laughs> she um, just wants a skeleton to love her is that so wrong i just need another friend 
If we can't make uh, friends with the Demon King, we can make friends with the skeleton of the Demon King. Uh, Sire, can I get that Doom Die rolled? Oh, sure. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens next. Certainly nothing bad. Really bad? I don't know what these Death Die are. Oh, two's not good. <laughs> Gonna move um, that to death. <laughs> what, is, what is Sire doing while uh, the skeleton is going over to a squillet? Oh, good question. We're high-fiving. Seer. Um, I still don't quite know how to pronounce the name. Um, let's see. So <laughs> that's going on over there. Um, just disarmed. Yeah, she's disarmed. Um, I think she's probably trying to use, trying to prepare for a spell again. Mm -hmm. Um, like trying to summon the acid from the, from the rafters a second mm -hmm. time. Um, cool. Another gargoyle uh, wave. Uh, and and as, as she's doing this, uh, a, yeah. uh, a hand comes from behind and grabs. Um, it feels very um, squishy, I guess. Uh, and when you turn around, uh, Primaria has stood up again, but she's like, <laughs> no. Oh no. <laughs> puppet. Get um, inside and be a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and so the neckmate like you you can take my bones but you cannot remove my soul um, um and like, grabs <laughs> grabs your wrist and like again like tosses you back okay. towards the door i know what i want to do next but i can i can wait a while to recover <laughs> from this um <laughs> cool melodica what are you up to well this seems like the perfect opportunity to do what i do <laughs> which is uh hold on let me check Ew. my stats here i do have one Rats. speed so i'm gonna try to run as fast as i can to hopefully insert <laughs> myself into the jellified body and wear it you can you can do that let's see what happens what what an existence <laughs> just another oh, day oh an 18 <laughs> that's not good oh, you're, no. you're back on the earth but melodica spin. controls your every movement <laughs> um so as you uh, you run towards her like she just threw uh through seer away and she sees you running towards her and kind of like opens her arms and when her arms open the body splits open oh, perfect. Uh, and engulfs you so <laughs> oh no like, cool ah! i did it great I mean, stick your arms out to the arms yeah. uh and success feel it squeeze you uh oh so uh, you've become the new skeleton oh. Yeah. This, this is not good. This oh sucks. no. And, and, and she turns and looks at Squillette and goes, Go ahead, pull these ones out. Please pull them out. Pull me out. This sucks. I can't pull you out all <laughs> entirely. Ouch, it okay. hurts. Uh, this suit is too tight. Um, I think Seer, I keep having to give Seer dialogue, um, but. She steps up onto she the- won't stop talking. All the, yeah, once it's like Silent Bob, once she gets <laughs> going. Um, I think she stands up on the altar um, and shouts, ancient river of acid and all its creatures, I summon you now. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Come poly. forth to this space. <laughs> um, I, don't know know the, poly. I don't know if you could do that with one power die. Oh, um, damn. Okay. Um, would the other two of you like to donate your power die? <laughs> like all like form together in Metal it's Queen. Like a, yeah, Voltron. I was, like a Voltron I was, Metal Queen. Yeah. I was like, thinking similarly of like calling all the skeletons as well. So okay, I could, yeah. I'm happy to donate power die to that, the river okay. as well. I will roll my, my, if that's okay with everyone. Yeah, if you want to roll yeah. all four. Yeah, you can have mine. I will roll one. Yeah, everyone, everyone roll your power dice. I've you rolled a four, so I, I okay. get, so that mine goes into doom. <laughs> oh god. Uh, oh. From, oh no, from no I rolled a four to ten. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Oh. From inside, I'm trying to channel my power to sire, and I roll I a my seven. Queen skeleton to sire. Whoa. Whoa. Seven is. Okay, so great. I really so, want to imagine that it's yeah, like so this is, failing and then squeeze failing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so this is how this works. Spark of uh, power. Okay, so cool. you you are uh, you are able to like do the summoning thing um, and kind of like there's a this like where you're standing in the cathedral there, like you kind of like do this and 
blast forward and just like acid sprays out of like every open window and every door it's like <laughs> covering the inside of the uh <laughs> covering the inside of the cathedral with this sludge acid um and uh, the uh, her, her body like starts you know sizzling and dissolving and stuff but it's still retaining its form uh melodica is fortunately protected by the flesh <laughs> meat there. armor um just like you would want it's yeah, like exactly it, it like falls apart enough that you just kind of like flop out um <laughs> like a and, locker <laughs> <laughs> yeah um but she's still standing there and it's just like kind of like globs of flesh kind of like hovering in the shape of a person um and she like goes over like this and snaps her skeleton back into her so now it's no! like a, a skeleton with these gross pieces of meat growing on it again Ew. Um, Ew. Uh, and she like just kind of like looks uh looks at seer and says don't you think i look better this way um and like kind of like t- turns her back on you all uh, and walks up to the like stands on top of the altar and says oh, no. and now I will bring this cathedral down upon all of us and destroy the last of the metal queens. And as she says that, uh, <laughs> the uh, armadillo thing bursts through the window <laughs> behind her and just rolls on top of her and just, like Flat. splatters her everywhere. <laughs> um, and like, like gr- grimes around, like rolls around, like trying to like. So got one, some one, of the femur one, stuck in his side. One, one, one oh, mouth no. is kind of like trying to like, get him. some of the slime water, and one <laughs> mouth is kind of like sucking at the remains. <laughs> you know, did that? Me. Um, and you just hear this like this uh this like howling howling noise coming from where the smash came, and it's just like pillar of dark energy like swirling up you know, out through the window and kind of into the sky and dissipates. Oh, um, that's going to be and, so difficult to get out. Roly poly is just like, slurp, 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 slurp. Oh, buddy. Can um, I get you and... back in the river? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Um, and the little demon babies are crawling out up and like, they're like, oh, there's another gargoyle. What's that? Are you, are you real? Do you? Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, what would you like to do with that? Oh man. Well, I think our next mission is to get the roly poly back to the river. <laughs> yeah, we gotta poke him back into the water. <laughs> Come on, little guy. Get back Come in on. your home. What's his name? <laughs> May not have one yet. <laughs> Let's call you Kyle after our last best friend <laughs> died. Come on, Kyle. Kyle. Come on, Kyle. You can be the, the armadillo queen. The river queen. <laughs> Kyle, the armadillo queen. The river queen. <laughs> um, cool. You've smashed, it. smashed the, uh, <laughs> both the first metal queen and the necromancer. I feel like we did anything there, yeah. I mean, <laughs> we did like, technically effort. stop the defiler, I guess. No, you really didn't. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, we and we're like how long are they going to fight this species. thing that's not attacking them? I don't know. And now we know that we're alone <laughs> in the world. Like, I guess we maybe before we had had some hope that there were others, and now we know we're like the last. Yeah, uh, and it's probably fine. like a real change of perspective for Squil- for Squilette of like, oh, I can't. <laughs> this was it's like my religion. The- yeah. <laughs> Well, what do I do now? Hey, okay. what about hey, our Titan in the dead. other dimension? What's what's yeah, what's he up to? He's still All hanging right, out so there. <laughs> yes, we go back to the long summoning rituals. Mm. <laughs> and get yourself a, a bone bone glider and get out of dodge, I guess. <laughs> um, cool. Anything we you want to just do? walk? We'll walk as a, back slowly. as a coda. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, hard to turn this one into a win. <laughs> guess the win is that the last three metal queens live on <laughs> yeah i guess i guess we're like we'll have like a mon- montage of like our retirement scenes because i guess we're like okay there's the squelette fucking lost her religion yeah. <laughs> she's just like i'm gonna farm i don't know Sorry, I'm lost a bone farmer now <laughs> There, there are still so many demons to fight. Yeah, we, <laughs> so we still got to get to summoning the Titan. I, I, I guess, like like Peter said, we're back to our 
<laughs> it's, we're back to where we began, where we're just in the Skull Mountain working on our long-term summoning rituals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back to studying. Yeah. Did you take any of yes. the uh, little goblins with you? Yeah, yeah, they help me clean, but I'm not as <laughs> uptight anymore. I don't mind as some gore here and there. Yeah. We have an acid moat around the Skull Mountain now with the roly poly sort of. Oh, yes. Cool. Yeah, that's good. Roly poly now has like a, but there's like little babies you see after it. <laughs> <laughs> roll, 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 roll. So we have a few new. We have some more residents with us at Skull Mountain now. <laughs> Sometimes the really boys get out of the lake and have to poke them back in. <laughs> All right, uh, and that is Metal Queens of Skull Mountain. Oh, yeah. Pretty metal. <laughs> that was it's pretty damn metal all around. Pretty metal. I've been waiting to do this skeleton move the whole time. <laughs> totally <Well> worked. <laughs> It worked, but it didn't really work. Well, you know, I, even though we may not have had the best outcome, still the final move of the final battle is the best place to roll an epic success. Yep. <laughs> and like three failures and then an yeah. epic. <laughs> like, perfect. Could not so, have planned it better. All right. There is yeah. that. I am surprised <laughs> at how well that mechanic, that simple mechanic seems to work out for this. And Yeah. Oh, it makes you kind of more and more desperate as your dice keep dying. Yeah. yeah. What do the death die for? Uh, when all of your dice are in death, you die. Oh, okay. So I was getting there. Okay. Yeah. I can't remember. Is there any way to get death dice out of death? Nope. And I didn't think so. Nope. So you just get weaker and weaker. And... Yeah. <laughs> then you die. Oh, okay. That's, That's like cool. Real cool, life. cool, cool, cool. Real metal. <laughs> That's not, yeah, not really a not really a campaign game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like, yeah. I could feel us like riding into the ground at the end. And I was like, well, let's fucking do it. Play, it is playing nice another campaign with these now extremely wounded <laughs> metal queens. <laughs> I've only got three power dice left. I was like, Spillette so couldn't do any speed move. It's like nope. Yeah, I was all get out of the way. To thrash at the end. <laughs> I was putting all mine in power because I was like, at least I, I guess I'm just gonna make bone things. At least I finally tried a speed move, though it failed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it was but sweet. At least I got one in. Got your sweetest meat skeleton you've I ever did. had, though. Full on meat, prime metal queen plus evil necromancer armor, all at once. Just like role play is, fodder forever. Yeah, a good story to tell the, the <laughs> demons, to tell the gargoyles. I wore the first metal queen and the necromancer king as armor. <laughs> chitter, 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 gnaw, gnaw. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Oh, the, the, necromancer, the necromancer did have a cool name. I forget what it was. Oh, yeah, it was. Because it was like the great, great grandson of the demon, right? Thrum, it was like, oh, Thrum, oh, yeah, right. or something. Yeah, Should it was written cool. That down. I, oh, oh, I wonder if another one of our missions, in addition to, now that we know we're the last, of also trying to raise more metal queens. Mm, yeah. I'm Ooh. like, oh, right. well, I'm sure there's a way, Primordia made us, so I'm sure I there's a way. See, I now see us. Squillette really trying to train the gargoyles in the ways of metal queens, and they just are, they, they don't. Trying All to they train, know is to you gnaw. see train the skeletons, I try to, like, the what is the recipe? The promise, though. Yeah. yeah, the roly poly is the closest <laughs> we've gotten to, like, trying to, like, make clay, hu like, golem humans, and, like, <laughs> all right, we're, I'm going to get this. <laughs> but, but instead of worshiping her now i do that nice. i know there must be a way to make life always good to have a project in difficult times like <laughs> metal queens it was awesome yeah that was a cool game yeah yeah it's interesting from my side because like the mechanic is cool and like the play is cool but there's no real support to, oh like, no make stuff happen um and if i wasn't a good gm it would be yeah. way harder um be like okay here's a thing You're yeah, I, did a lot of things. I mean I, there's I, a monster i don't know if my brain was just squishy or what but i don't i found myself sometimes just going like god oh, guess we go towards the <laughs> towards enemy the dude yeah 
I'm like, oh, split the river open. Fuck. Um, inside is a uh, armadillo. It's an armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> we make it our best friend. I kept like okay. trying to yeah. think of something interesting to do, and I just kept failing and going like, uh, I guess we trek onward. Yeah, and that's like that's part of the like DM or GM support is like it's like just having it's the difference between story and plot, right? It's like, mm-hmm. is there just a series of things that happen or is there like something pulling you along? Oh and yeah. Like yeah. it's kind of it and it's not supported in the game or described in the game, but like like cool, like this thing is happening to you. What do you do? Because like this happens if you do it or this happens if you don't, or something oh. else happens. So it's not just like no, while well, you're at a door, what do you do? I don't know, we just hang out. Dig cool. under hang out it. The yeah. Dig under trebuchet. It. So it's always like, got to take Oh yeah, we trebuchet home. Yeah, trebuchet <laughs> home. Um, take what's there and kind of like make a, something grabby out of it. Yeah, there's a lot of inventing. It, if you make it seem like you've planned all this, although I know from talking with you, you're just making it nope. as you go. Yeah, the only thing I had ahead of time was like, Oh, it'd be cool to do like a flashback to that battle at some point. Okay. <laughs> Literally all the planning. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. It was a good Halloween y themed game, too. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. Next week is the Halloween. <laughs> Spooky. Um, I would be happy to run like a trophy dark game or something for Halloween. Oh, yeah. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, we could do a Halloween trophy dark. Um, I'll, I'll send you guys a like list of titles, <laughs> which are not always descriptive, but that sound cool. Oh, um, cool. And, and you can pick one and I'll run them. Fun. This is the doomed doomed adventurers. Yeah, um, yeah. Everyone, everyone yeah. dies or goes crazy or kills each other. I think it'll work out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I couldn't remember if Metal Queens was like that. And I was like, are we should are we gonna do it's, it's not supposed to. I think it You like, were talking about your game, I think, and it sounded like shit went wrong. Yeah, it, it has the death spiral, which is fun. Um I think like the way ours ended, like was pure chance, because it feels like there should be a because like in like heavy metal, like the movie or the stories from the book, like usually like shit's fucked up cool stuff happens you kind of get your dip and then like something epic happens at the end um that is not necessarily like the you know the the armadillo like that's not necessarily something that you did but it was a nice like smash at the end like the t-rex coming yeah. in saving everyone um and so that's kind of like the shape of that kind of story and i think the game takes care of the first part really well <laughs> oh <laughs> like, yeah lets you do a lot of cool things and then gives the opportunity with a seven to like have that epic um, oh yeah yeah and so the, we really lucked into like miss 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 seven yeah, yeah. it was like the perfect <laughs> book show uh and like the one that, mechanic that, that does like kind of address chance. that is if you uh, if you get all your dice in death then you die in a spectacular epic oh fashion. right so like if you need I to make a final ready sacrifice to die for the queen. that's the thing yeah yeah i was like I mean, oh i bet Spillette's ready, ready to die so what happens you know like let's just say i had died Mm-hmm. Then I just like kind of just kick back and watch the rest of the game and go like Yoga's are awesome. Kind of. I mean that that's like every cool. other character. Yeah. I would probably like give you some like co GMing stuff, like cool, like tell tell me what all this <laughs> stuff is. So like or you can play the demon queen or whatever. So you can play we'll a play each and every and one of the gargoyles. <laughs> <laughs> they I'll all have different do hundred gargoyles, go. <laughs> every time yeah, he throws go. to me, all I do is go. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's but like role most games of this nature is just like when you die it's like cool see, Peace see, out. see you next time i guess mm. um, or they carry your body around until they can resurrect <laughs> you i guess or they will do it <laughs> or i become a force ghost <laughs> carried around or, by or you like quickly make up another metal queen and swing out of the rafters <laughs> at the last Kyle! minute. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's not dead. It's Kyle. Kyle's oh, back. God. Queen of popsicles. Kyle, sticks. we thought you were on vacation. <laughs> metal Titan never contacted on vacation. me and told me to come join you guys because you guys keep sending people to him. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's how that works. Yeah. It's a good game. I have notes, but 
oh, well, <laughs> enjoyable. It has good and, ideas and good tone. <laughs> yeah, it, it's super fun to run. Uh, it's super easy. Like, like roll these dice, 50, 50 chance. Cool, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's always just fun, you know, to be, like I said, I know when we were creating characters, I joked, but at, at the same time, not joked, that it was really just sort of the extra gory version of my Chaotica character in a right. way. <laughs> but it's kind of fun having games like that where like you're not constrained to a set of predefined moves yeah whatever like you know yeah. i got my sword attack or my fire spell or my you know it's like what do you do what anything you want to fucking do yeah just make it private yeah. and we'll figure out what to roll yeah we we almost put our own restrictions on ourselves instead of just being like, like we do oh, anything i have rules for how acid works in like only bones <laughs> Only physical and, stuff and only in, bones. In, in the book, there's like it's like here's like four different like levels of like you can do it like spectacular or melodic or you know by the book or grim. So it's like oh like figure out what the you can figure out what the you know uh, danger level of each monster is and they have to roll that many successes to defeat it or whatever. Oh, yeah. Like it's a lot more like mechanical gamey and more like okay you have to like get four successes to defeat the armadillo thing or like uh, uh or wind it over <laughs> yeah this is like just tell me how it works and it's cool you just poke it yeah no don't, don't touch me oh, God, no. <laughs> go, 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 go. Go. i find <laughs> it's uh i find it's sweet pot and pet it pet, pet it real good it's happy. oh his belly <laughs> starts kicking his leg we just spend the whole game hanging out with the armadillo <laughs> we ride it mm. A different way of letting the necromancer win. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they never got to the necromancer because they just played with the armadillo. <laughs> but they made a friend. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah, and again, like there's no mechanical support for this, but it feels like there has to be some kind of there has to be a clock, there has to be a time pressure thing. So the the swirling black thing was perfect. I'm like, great, cool. The lesson, like that's the thing, like is going to keep you moving. And if you don't make it, then something else happens so like if you yeah. like if you just walk past the demon statue thing like you would have gotten there before the ritual was done and so no i don't want you to tell me that i <laughs> want it to be true no matter what <laughs> would have been sort of delightful of just looking at the demon and walking away yeah, like, uh, just um, we draw a mustache on it and move on yeah or if you you know just you're just gonna hang out with the armadillo then it's like cool then like the ritual's complete and then the plan is like the necromancer takes her body and just like starts fucking everything up so eventually he's gonna come after skull mountain which <laughs> makes more stuff happen yeah. not our armadillo though <laughs> after we draw the line cool, cool. armadillo ranchers yeah That's i don't, I don't think i realized that that, that, that the whole swirly thing had to do with that final location i thought that was had to do oh, yeah. with the guy on the i hill. wasn't even clear about whether the luck whether lux was the demon king or, or the demon yeah i thought it was pretty <laughs> bad in in my brain there's like four four like demon lords that got destroyed oh, by yeah that Primaria. totally makes sense um i was like i don't know he's gonna be there but he's gonna be a statue so i don't know i don't know what he's gonna do we'll find out oh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I thought so. that it was like I thought the, the the disappearing swirl was like him drawing what he was drawing his power from. Yeah, that's what the the necromancer was drawing the power from. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, but that was like I had no idea. I was like, cool swirly thing. I gotta make it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the thing that's powering the thing. Great, good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We're yeah. back. We're back. Right Let's go best. mountain. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> We didn't get um, any any instructions on how to do things. We just yeah. did it. I mean, yeah. What was the thing that notified us about the the defilement in the first place? Oh, uh, her uh, her spirit came and. Oh, that's right. While it was her, being demolished. While it was being tortured to death, I guess. Yeah. Tortured her spirit, which is, no longer exists. Yep. <laughs> if I had planned out the whole thing ahead of time, I could have played that up, but. No. <laughs> there's trade there's trade-offs you make I guess. so i mean you know in in the ultimate theme of the selfishness of most of the world today really 
it's all the same to us. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> I mean, it's not any different. I mean, yeah, she yeah. may be permanently gone now, but she was gone I to us. I lost my to entire religion or, and way or of life. Or that's what the Necromancer King <laughs> says. Who knows? I was depressed for years. <laughs> I changed hairstyle several times. I changed hairstyles. <laughs> This could be like a quest for Spock kind of thing, you know. Hey, right. Oh, yeah. oh gotta go get a blue whale back in time. <laughs> yeah. And then okay. sabotage yeah. plays on the soundtrack. It'll all be K, okay. okay. <laughs> um, cool. I'll put that list of uh, things, incursions, they're called. Excellent. Uh, pick one and I'll look through it and we'll run it next time. Bitching. Thank you for running this tonight, Mark. Yeah, yeah. good time. Oh. Yeah. Back on for our normal seven and Friday. Yes, seven on Fridays. Or, so that's yeah. good for Nicole. Yeah. Good for you. Okay. I could do it this next week, and then the one after that, it might be okay. Helpful cool. to do a Sunday again, but yeah, cool. Fridays are fine. easier for me generally. But I can I can always move to Sunday, and it's, it's okay. Yeah, let's do next week Friday, and then we'll see how we feel. But I'll probably either have to skip or do a Sunday the next week. That's fine. And then it'll be Dig the it. last one. Yeah. Do that. Oh, well. then on vacation forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, Tosin was like, oh, and then you'll be a doctor. And I was like, no, no. <laughs> Just like one of many hoops. <laughs> then yeah. I get to be a candidate for doctor. <laughs> you'll be a doctor to us. <laughs> we'll call you doctor. <laughs> Bye. Proto doctor. Proto doctor. P P H D. P P. Cool. I'm gonna shut down the stream, and we'll see y'all next time. See y'all next time. Bye, nerds.